Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sonalika Singh from MSCIT part one, your host for the day. A pleasant afternoon to the principal, madam, HOD ma'am, our resource person of the day, Madhav Mishra, so dear teachers from IT and mathematics department and all the participants. For two days online workshop on trends in data analytics and data science organized by the postgraduate section of information technology and mathematics of the SIA College of Higher Education. It's a glad welcome SIA brings to you this afternoon filled with desires, hopes and dreams we all share. A dream becomes a goal when positive attitude flames within us. Think deep as every thought leads to goal and so does our workshop. Light symbolizes brightness and prosperity. It removes the forces of darkness and gives us positivity. So let's begin our day with digital lightning of lamp. Goddess Saraswati is a symbol of music, art, wisdom and nature. So let's take her blessings through Saraswati Vandana. Sarvesh, we all feel blessed indeed. A person who has helped us grow spiritually and mentally in all our endeavors to spread the light of true wisdom and knowledge, who is constant source of positive energy, our beloved principal, Dr. Padmaja Arvind, madam. I kindly request madam to give principal's address for today's workshop. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the uh, SAA management, SAA Parivar, I welcome the chief guest and the resource person for the day who is going to deliver the information on data analytics. Uh, though I don't belong to the background of IT, but today I feel for any kind of work, whether it is a business or whether any kind of activities we are doing, data play a very important role. Because data becomes as a factual facts to understand and analyze and interpret and understand what is happening today, what has happened yesterday, and what is going to happen in future. So data and analytics play a very important role to understand where we were, where we are now, and how are we going to go in future. 
I think this paper or this concept is going to play a very important role in everyday life at various aspects. So keeping in a very small brief like this, sir, I welcome you for the day. And I think I really thank the IT department who have taken a lot of effort in order to bring the data analytics as one of the future trend and which is going to dominate in each and every walk of life. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for your kind words. Yeah. Simplicity is sometimes elusive, but almost always present. Sometimes you just need to know where to look for it or how to look for it. The best example of this is our head of the department and the most favorite mathematics professor, Shrikala Nair, madam. I request madam to give the welcome address for this workshop. Over to you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, thank you to each and every student from UG as well as PG section for showing such overwhelming response for the workshop. I am pleased to welcome our resource person for the day, Mr. Matho Mishra, all the faculty members of the department and my dear students for this two day workshop on trends in data analytics and data science. Data is one of the important features of every organization because it helps business leaders to make decisions based on facts, statistical numbers, and trends. Due to this growth of data, data science came into picture, which is a multidisciplinary field. It uses scientific approaches, procedures, algorithms, and framework to extract the knowledge and insight from a huge amount of data. It is a concept to bring together ideas, data examination, machine learning, and their related strategies to comprehend and dissect genuine phenomena with data. Data science is an extension of various data analysis fields such as data mining, statistics, predictive analysis, and many more. Data science is a huge field that uses a lot of methods and concepts which belong to other fields like information science, statistics, mathematics, and computer science. Some of the techniques utilized in data science encompasses machine learning, visualization, pattern recognition, probability model, data engineering, signal processing, etc. When the application of the subject in real life is so huge, I think it's time for us to take maximum from the two days workshop. Thank you all once again. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're you. always a motivator. Success is not accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you're doing or learning to do. Our today's resource person is truly an inspiration to all of us. A data scientist by profession, full stack developer, machine learning and AI research aspirant, sports enthusiast and also tagged as top writer in science and blogger on medium. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce our industry expert and resource person of the day, Madhav Mishra sir, who is working as data scientist at Tel Telstra in India. He has worked as a product manager at Geo Media Services and Reliance Geo. He has contributed in several projects such as customer segmentation at Mahindra First Choice, directing customers to subscription through app behavior analysis, topic modeling classifier in Telstra. We are glad to share that Sir's team this week was awarded B2B Digital Transformation FY21 H1 Award for delivering adaptive mobility shippable increment 5 on their own by self-managing with a keen eye on quality and timeline. He is a passionate teacher as well who loves devoting his valuable weekend times as visiting faculty at Pillai College Panwain and SIES College Cyan East and Cyan West for postgraduate department of computer science and information technology. He has been teaching subjects like applied learning, machine learning, deep learning and data science. Sir, we are really glad and thankful to you for taking time out of your busy schedule to share your experience and knowledge with us. Over to you, sir. 
thank you so much thanks sonalika right sonalika yeah so thank you so much for addressing yeah uh, this week uh, we got the excellence award for financial year 2021 so we delivered a capability in just uh, the target line was 3 months but we did it in just uh, less than 2 months so and that too without even sme so, so in industry we call sme as subject matter expert so these sub subject matter experts are domain expertise in uh, in some system so so basically um, how it is defined is uh like to just add one word like we have strategic systems and legacy systems so basically what legacy system means is uh if you are having a phone that's a legacy system and if you have a broadband or a, a wired lan that is called strategic so for example we developed an automated model uh like we tried to identify that if someone who is being charged in australia uh like my organization that belongs to australia so we charge a dollar 50 a uh, value for one connection so if he's, we are charging dollar 50 and for suppose after 3 months that person wants to shift to dollar 80 uh, value pack so uh, and he uses it for say 6 months and after that again he comes he scales on the bandwidth to again dollar 50 so at that point of time uh, uh, the automated processes were not aligned like that person is still getting charged for dollar 80 so that's the really big big annoyment that we do for customer uh, experience and that and that brings frustration and at the end the customer tries to leave our connection and go so on an average we try to automate based on the bandwidth uh, legacy systems which is like we have an uh, ie my number we have the bandwidth uh, bandwidth that he is using based on that automatically the charging will be uh, charging bill will be segmented into number of clusters and then it will be charged so uh, on an average i can say that we by doing this uh, uh, in a year we can save 22 million dollars australian dollars so that's a very big number so we bring on to the table a huge number that saves even budget and after that if company is um, progressing more on the annual part uh, we as a developers also get good hike so that's how it works okay carrying on ahead uh, let me first uh, uh, i hope i'm i'm audible to each and every one present over here yes sir Yes, sir. I've shorted my screen share. Uh, so for convenience, I'll uh, since we are um, almost 130 plus over here, 120 plus. I'll switch off my uh, video. That's okay if if that can go while sharing the screen. Ma'am. Yeah, sure, sir. Absolutely fine. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. So <clears throat> so we'll start with um um. uh the trends in analytics uh, basically a hub that comes out from the whole uh, circumference that is analytics inside we have data that plays a keen role so as you see on the screen uh we have trends in data analytics and data science uh, so what does this mean i mean why do we always call trends so the whole motive about this workshop is to bring enlightenment on the trends that people are following or the industry experts are following based on data analytics and data science so there can be like uh, it, it, it is divided into way 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 more aspects like mam Ma mentioned it would be pattern recognition deep analysis or say data analytics data analysis modeling machine learning but how does this all start i mean from where do we get how do these teams come up with uh, artificial intelligent model or say you can say a recommendation system or say you can say youtube comes up with so good good i always give this example that you go on youtube uh, although you're not even been logged in and you try to search some uh, good songs and you end up uh, like you your target is just to listen one or two songs but i'm pretty much sure the algorithm works so nice that you end up uh based on the recommendations that has been provided you end up seeing a, a, a lot of time spend a lot of time so that is what i'm trying to engage customer on my app and that is where my content is been consumed by the customer i get good likes that is connected to the revenue of the company and once the revenue is good the company works good they hire more people and things goes in a profit zone so that's how the whole uh, thing is linked so let's try to understand on a very basic node that what exactly is this flow like i say uh, there can be machine learning life cycle there can be data science life cycle but if you if you see a key factor key factor is the data the data that comes in 
plays the important role if we don't have data um, things cannot go like for example we we have been hearing out in uh, from all the industry experts data is the new oil so let's try to understand why they say that data is a new oil so <clears throat> We'll kick start. I hope my screen is visible. If not, please do ping in the chat so that I can come. Uh, I can come to know. Okay. Okay. So the data analytics process is the key. The number one, wherein your AI starts, is from data analytics. In under that you have say deep learning. Under that you have machine learning. Under that you have data analysis, data engineering, data science. Okay. It 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 plays an important role in and around. So the data analytics can be described in a process which consists of the various step. So basically, data analysis what it does gets into your raw data. Okay. Raw data and then that pulls pulls out using data visualization or they make predictions. Okay. And why? These predictions are into form because we have mathematics. Okay, mathematical models, such as statistical models, coming into picture. So we have each and every hub connected. So, for example, you say that if you want to grow something, you need to uh, uh, sow it from the root. So data is the root, and the other branches that are coming out, like mathematics, domain knowledge, past experiences, or someone who has done trial and error, that comes as a branch to it. Okay, so collected data, then the data analyzing nothing but a sequence of step which plays a key role in subsequent ones. Okay, so if someone who says that if he doesn't know coding can also survive in this market, why? I tell you, there is problem definition. So for example, uh, you don't know anything about data. I mean, you're not concerned about data. But again, if you have a pro, if you have a pro problem solving skills, like you you are good at strategy making, you can find your place in problem definition. So basically, you go in this phase. You go to talk to the talk to the uh, person who will give you a, a definition that boss. I'm facing this problem. How do I come out of it? Okay. Then based on that, you have a team which tries to understand what kind of data is required for that problem to solve. So that comes under data extraction. And then we have when uh, when we get the whole data. Obviously, none of the data is clean because if you go on Kaggle, uh, you people usually usually go on Kaggle and they get data and they start. Making themselves as data scientists, but honestly speaking, Kaggle gives you clean data, and the real world challenge that each and every engineer, whoever goes out in industry, is facing on the data cleaning perspective. So because you know uh, the real value is lying in this sector, data cleaning, because you know you get many people who can who can run model, but there are very few chunk of people who can give insights from the raw data, and that what that is what the key aspect. If you get good insights. Your model works super awesome. You know what is going inside your model. Then, based on the data cleaning, you have data transformation. So, basic data transformation is nothing but if you have say one, if you have one variable, two variable, you combine those two variable and you make a third variable. So that is what you are trying to transform. And then, a data exploration stage, we have uh, we try to understand what is the minimum, maximum, sum, quantitative analysis, or we have how do we describe the data? What does the data tell about itself? Okay, that is that is what data explanation. Then we move ahead to predictive modeling, wherein we try to train some machine learning models to understand what your data is speaking. Is it is it is it really working? Is the data imbalance like it would be? For example, there you have a data set wherein people like data science is more on the yes part and less on the no part. So that is a data imbalance state. Similarly, we then once we built a predictive model. We need to validate that. So model validation is another aspect wherein you can find your place. That there can be, for example, Amazon. Amazon on on each uh, each sprint, which is of three weeks, they develop more than hundred models, and that hundred models has been validated by the validators. So you can find your place over there also, wherein if you're good in catching things. There you go. You make you make your place in the market. So model validation and testing is also a process, and then visualization and interpre interpretation of results. So basically, if you don't know coding, you don't know anything. But yes, you are good at speaking. You can make stories out of uh, out of what has been shown in just quick minutes. So there you can you can be a good data visualizer. You can be a good storyteller. Where you find your place is if you go somewhere. Stakeholder is the one who gives you money. And if you are good in explaining the overall concept, or say whatever the problem is, has been defined, that has been taken, processed, we have come up with this output. And sir, based on your data, we can make, we can do this. That can increase your revenue. The stakeholder will like the process, and he will start uh, believing in your process, and he will give you uh, funds for investment. And then once this has been done, your 
customer is all okay your stakeholder is all defined we have the final process which is known as deployment of the solution again we have devops model over here so you can again work as a developer okay on a developer front wherein you just deploy the builds so basically deployment is at a very large scale wherein you have say 100 models coming in you are the one who will try to connect with the model validator to understand why should i push a specific chunk of model ahead into the production so again um, if I, I can say that the last step person is the one who can destroy things and who can make things okay so we say we say Aditi Devo Bhava to this uh, de development of our solution because he is the one who communicates with the upper levels and tries to understand and gives it to the top notch and then the product gets delivered. Okay, so this is how your ideology comes. So we have just opened up a bubble. Okay, uh, the bubble comes up with a uh, bulb that will give you good idea. Now let's uh, let's understand how this uh, system goes. So we have a problem. Data extraction is done. We do prepare the data. We try to visualize, which is called exploratory data analysis. So this stage, which you see over here, data visualization and exploration is exploratory data analysis, where you, you try to understand what exactly your data is speaking. Like if if it has missing values or if it is having some values which are to, which are outliers. So let me tell what is outlier. So for example, uh, you have hot star. OK, so when can you find the most number of frequency of active users on hot star? Can anybody tell me out of the crowd? Hot star pe aapko kab lagta hai ki during bahut... IPL match. IPL. Any match. OK, IPL match or if say in, in India we have so many users. OK, so that is a very good sign for the uh, OTT platform, which is hot star. But if you see from the other side, that is, these all guys just come for one match and after that match is over or the series is over, they just go away. So these guys of chunk of people are called as outliers for the OTT platform, which are just not acting in the same person. They are not interested to consume the other content that is available on the OTT platform. By I got match, match ara, install karo. Let's install the app gets get from somewhere and nowadays people even don't try to buy the subscription also the networking via whatsapp and social media is so fast that they will say that uh, take 100 rupees for a day and give me the access i'm happy with it so this is how things work so that is done over there based on that we try to identify who is the outlier what is what which data is not behaving in the secular format so based on that has been extracted or we do some handling over there then we build a predictive model and that predictive model is again validated and then it has gone to deployment. So that is how the whole key analysis does. And again, the beautiful fact is this all comes under data analysis. And when we try to make decision that is called data science and then we take some decisions. Basically, the decision section starts from data exploration and visualization wherein you try to you can go back again to your customer say boss. We have tried to analyze but we are uh, less on the data. Can we get more data? If he says yes, well and good, we'll take the data from there. If he say no, the the key pack, uh, the, the key impact comes back to us and we try to cook data. When we try to cook data, that is where a data engineer is born. Okay, you play a role of a data engineer wherein you try to understand things and and apart from that, if you don't understand, then you go to the subject matter experts who know the system very well, or maybe you can say that they have spent almost more than 10 years, five years working in the system. They can give you the right domain knowledge. Okay, so that's how the solution works. So guys, uh, just a chunk of pop, uh, uh, pause over here. Any queries you have regarding this all the flow? I want the crowd to be out here. Any questions, anyone? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, look back. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So, <coughs> moving ahead, we see QQA. Okay. So, this is qualitative and quantitative analysis. So, basically, a uh, whole over analysis that you do is divided into two things, which is either it will be in quantitative or it will be in qualitative. OK, so basically if you for example, we, we go in Mumbai University, we try to write paper. So uh, what I can say, um, there is an analysis wherein 
the checking of mumbai university paper is done is done on quantitative basis and not on qualitative basis or something like that so that is where you try to analyze whether we fall into quantitative part because if i give you a challenge for example you check 300 papers in just 2 hours you will just go with quantitative approach but if i say that you have to check 3 papers in 2 hours you will go then for qualitative analysis so the process goes like this quantitative analysis is done on the bulk checking and qualitative analysis is done wherein you get uh, like if you raise some concerns that no i have got less marks there is a validation check been done revaluation re uh, phase we say then there then that is the point wherein you have say uh, 10 people getting single single marks there you have you will find out more evolution and they'll go into quantitative data analysis so basically what do we say is you you make prediction okay you make prediction perfectly but that prediction is based on two aspirants okay so that is one which lies on the quantitative part and other that lies on the qualitative part okay there are more objective conclusions if you deep dive they can be more sub subjective also wherein subjective is like uh, i try to understand the key concerns like if someone who is who has written a good paper still end up getting less mark why because he has taken a quantitative approach not a qualitative approach after revaluation also his marks remains the same so that is subjective he has not performed on the qualitative part that's the reason your quantitative and qualitative is aligned in the two sides so let us understand more on this by splitting it into two aspects so in real world scenarios quantitative analysis comes into numerical and categorical data so first is numerical categorical data so uh, if you have we have machine learning people out, out over here they can understand this very well numerical and categorical how does this go numerical is the data which is always having numerical aspects and categorical is say yes no right wrong approval disapproval okay that is categorical then you have quantitative predictions which is on your quant uh, quant analysis wherein you have the bulk of hypothesis generated and based on that you will come on on the quantitative prediction that i have taken a chunk of thing and based on that i'm giving you this prediction okay and it it basically depends on sample space and more objective uh, conclusion is like uh, if 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 you have to make if you deal with outliers a quantitative analysis based on outliers so there is the objective wherein you have to remove this outliers or work with this outliers that is your call like in general case working with outliers will hamper your prediction or may hamper your uh, recommendation system also wherein qualitative analysis basically works on textual visual and audio data like we both you at at uh, you all sitting in different different uh, uh, data sources or you can say different different locations can hear me so this is what we are doing qualitative analysis wherein you can hear it properly in visual properly and audio properly that is the best part But if i type something you are able to see that that's the textual uh, analysis that you are doing that if i'm typing say my name is madhav mishra you are also getting my name is madhav mishra so that is where your qualitative analysis comes into picture and then qualitative prediction is again a sector wherein you are trying to match it from the subjective point that if you have say some concerns you have to you, you need that telecom industry mein hamare paas uh, device legacy and device number is important factor so that is quality of that data that agar ye nahi hai to that is it is not called as a domain like it is it is not called a telco telco data okay more subjective conclusions uh, like um, electronic media industries again um, uh, like you have you can see there are ott platform give which gives you based on genres okay content based on genres so that is again qualitative approach analysis that people try to analyze so this is other two sectors wherein you hang around so if i say if i want to build a machine learning model i fall on the quantitative analysis if i need to understand pattern recognition or say computer vision wherein i want to understand some textual data or say or, or, or a computerized video analysis i come under qualitative analysis okay so this is how uh, things start so i am done with the introductory part uh, trying to make you understand what exactly data analytics kick starts in the domain of data science or machine learning or ai what data plays role from where it comes into picture any queries guys you have until we move on the next part i'm open for questions 
No, sir. Okay. We one person is um, okay with it. What about others? We have 119 people in the chat. All okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Before I start, I, I really want to uh, want to make one uh, one announcement, a very important aspect which I would really like to recommend you all. I, I I have been informed that we have first year students also. We have second year students also of undergraduate. So uh, I would request you all. Uh, you would be a good fan of using Instagram, okay? Instagram or you can use. Uh, you would be using Facebook, right? Uh, the girls cluster would be more keen to use Snapchat. Am I right? Girls over here. Yes. Okay. We spend a lot of time putting status on our WhatsApp, sharing memes because you know today meme market is also going awesome. Like it, the, I I no wonder that would be a time wherein we have generative models to even generate memes also. So based on uh, based on category uh, categorization. So if you if somebody wants to work and you can also kickstart doing research on making a meme that can just go from the context perspective. It automatically select what person should come, which type of meme will suit best for this uh, scenario. Okay. So uh, do you all use LinkedIn? Anybody? Do you know the power of LinkedIn? Anybody who is having LinkedIn account, LinkedIn is is he's using from first and second year. Okay, I don't want third and masters to come in picture. First and second year. Like you are the yes, you're the newbies to this. Yes, oh yes, Sudanshu Mishra and uh, Narayan Chaudhary. Okay. So uh, what do you do on that? What 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 exactly you understand from LinkedIn? Can anybody come up on the screen and just share some views with me? anybody please be open like don't don't fear for anything it's just an open conversation i'll not take so anything we make connections so we make connections we make connections the company right. and people right right and then you start working on something right you work on something you can share your views over there that yeah i have worked on this concept this is what i've done please let me know how it is right we we can we can even request over there okay uh, so uh, this is one part second the most important aspect which i would request is github accounts do you all have github accounts yes sir Okay, it's just one person who's speaking. Yeah, I have 119 people in my den. Still, there's only one person. What about others? You can spam the chat. I mean, if you're not comfortable unmuting, you can just put it on chat so that I can understand. Okay, so I highly request each and every one over here. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. So this is this is GitHub. Okay, GitHub is really essential. Okay. Um, I being into industry, I'm in industry since say more than four years now. What thing that I like best is a resume with nothing. OK, nothing interesting, but with a GitHub link. Why GitHub link? I'll be very keen by Iska LinkedIn profile. Hai, iska GitHub hai. Let's just go and check what coding he has done. So basically I'm just targeting the first and the second year first. OK, let me make this clear. आप लोग यूनिट वन आप सेमेस्टर वन से लेके सेमेस्टर सिक्स तक आप करने वाले हो इस बीच में आप लोग कितने प्रोग्राम्स करोगे लाइक जावा सी प्लस प्लस देन यू विल सी शार्प ओके व्हाई डोंट यू एंड एंड फॉर एग्जांपल इन एवरी सेमेस्टर यू हैव टेन टेन प्रैक्टिकल्स ओके व्हाई कैंट यू मेक a uh, repo just go make a repository on uh, make a free account on uh, uh, this uh, github just start pushing okay start pushing your uh, codes whatever coding you are done bhale aapne kisi se utha ke bhi kiya ho to koi problem nahi just understand the code how when where you are using it and just put it on your github so you know if you see i'll tell you so this is this is this is what i have been i have made this account on say 11th december okay i made this account on 11th december 2019 after that i have been i'm putting on con concepts continuously over here working on things and if you if you want you can see i have also an account okay uh, over here which is my personal account uh, on the industry perspective okay it's it's inside this this is a second okay so if you go over here you can see how 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 well things have been Sub sublimed over here. Okay, like you you have maintained something or the other is where you're working. So this is how this is how things things intact. Okay, you have good things 
like when when whenever you're working out over here you will have a good analysis wherein you can just show off uh, like a real place to show what work you have done okay so i highly request each and every because you know at the end of the point whenever you are in six semester six you have bunch of six semester programs aligned intact at one place and that can be really good for your profile trust me it, it really helps so i re really request you all to be active on linkedin use linkedin like you use facebook like you use uh, uh, your instagram because you know i can tell i can see just 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 when we go on linkedin over here i'll show that for what i do i i follow a hashtag okay i i run a hashtag which i i really when i was free i don't have any anything else to do i run a hashtag which is like hashtag learn with madhav if you see over here this is hashtag learn with madhav so if you just put this you can just see the number of aspects ratio that i have posted okay it keeps on increasing you can go like uh whatever whatever chunk of things have been putting and if you if you just go and open one thing like if if say i have one comment on this and 15 persons are liking this okay so if if i go over here i just go in this you can just see the feed okay i have just given okay but if you see the magical part of this there are only 15 people who have given a like on it and one comment but if you see the analysis i have 1442 views to this post and if i go inside that i will have trend analysis which will be shown to you in your respective accounts okay so basically i just posted properties of opp in python and putting my views wherein i have some people who come and comment okay so the, you can see this guy there's a devops engineer who comes and shows his knowledge about this this is what it it will help you build your profile very well okay and similarly it goes for every aspect if you just go just go in and you see over here Um, you have many trend analysis okay many trend analysis if you see all activity just go and like what what new things are coming you will be updated and if you have some uh, good features like if for this workshop also when you are doing you says you can just go you can understand daily daily what new things are happening like see m1 technologies this is the biggest telco uh, telco company in singapore that has taken up things okay so this is how i recommend highly recommend and once we are done with this workshop also i want you all to go and post this this uh, certificate out over there tag your friends tag each and every one and let them know that yeah you have completed this so basically why i am telling you may know all the knowledge that you possess over here but if you are not good at marketing it you will never ever succeed in life so why this people of uh, people uh, work more on marketing they did they, they do do uh, they do hr marketing because awareness is important you can get people out there who might be looking for something that you are expert but you don't have a platform to connect so i highly recommend each and every one go make a linkedin account try to open it at least once in two weeks and understand what people are doing around what is the new stack that is coming in picture what is a new thing that is coming into our arena and what is the den that you are lying you will come to know that aap kahan pe lie kar rahe ho where are you sitting and what you are doing exactly okay so this is all about i wanted i hope uh, uh, people are, have understood the importance of github and your uh, linkedin profiles because you know uh, for me i'll tell you i work for a product based company product based mein sabse pehle ye dekhte hai iska linkedin account hai ki nahi hai to nikalo iska just keep it aside aise so for freshers i'll tell uh, if you want to get filtered out out of 100 people or say 50 people you should have github or github account mein code rakho aisa nahi ki github account bana ke chhod do okay don't keep it empty start working on it okay so that's that's how your analysis is done i hope any queries things are fine intact any queries anybody is having from the first yes, year second yes, year okay and yes, also for, for third year uh, very if you haven't made anything or started please do because there's there's no correct time you can you can kick start at any point of time and just put in more effort jaise aap har din 6 ghanta so rahe ho theek hai do din aap khali 4 ghanta so jao koi baat nahi hai just put in 2 hours more and trust me the the end factor will be really fruit, fruitful to you okay so with this note uh, i'll give you 2 minutes any queries anybody having until we get into hands on part jahan pe hum log understand karenge ki kon kon se libraries hain jo data analytics and data science mein hame useful hote hain 
So I give it two minutes. Any question, anybody, like open forum. Don't worry. I'll not. I'll not think any bad things. No, full, full, full fledged open question forum for you. Anything you feel that you want to ask. Two minutes. You can ask. Sir, I would like to ask. Yeah, sure. Please. Uh, what is the basic difference between machine learning and the uh, data science or data scientist? Uh, what uh, uh, profession? Like, uh, uh, what is the basic approach to each? So, like, see, uh, machine learning is a point wherein it has algorithms which will make your predictive models. So, data science ke andar aapko machine learning agar banan, ma, lab, data science ke andar hi machine learning aayega. It's it's a part of it. So, if you want, uh, who is a data scientist? Who will see how I run 10 models and out of that 10 machine learning models, I will perfectly say based on accuracy, precision or say a RMSC score or say any error matrix score based on that. I will try to understand this this model which say model number four, which I have made using say grid search view that is perfect. So machine learning is a part of job analysis karke data ready karte ho na, to wo machine learning fir aata hai picture mein jahan pe wo data under lega usko perform karega and then it will start showing you results it would be either classification or either predictive i hope i gave the answer which you understood if not please let me know yeah under, understood yeah. so machine learning data science ke andar hi hai natural language processing bhi hai wo bhi Textual data pe kaam karta hai. You highly used to understand textual analytics data and used for making robots. So, waha pe bhi hota hai. Bhoat sari jage pe hota hai. Like, there are interchange. So, data science ke andar hi aata hai. You have deep learning, you have machine learning. Ab deep learning, machine learning mein kya hai? Machine learning hai basic with algorithms and deep learning is for large number of data. That is advanced machine learning, you can say. So it falls under it. Uske upar total AI hub hota hai. AI ke andar bhi bahut sari cheez hai. You have fuzzy systems, you have computational intelligence, you have applied ma ma machine learning, AI, ML, like that. So it is all. And apart from all this, in the old good days, we had statistics. Who was We used to make statistical models. We used to come up with statistical decisions. So that is also in a different domain that works in and around. Okay, any more questions? Please do, uh, please, uh, you can come up and ask. I mean, I expect a lot of questions because we have more than a century people. Sir. Over. Yes. What is the sir, eligibility for a data scientist? Eligibility for a data scientist is knowledge. I can say if you're good on concepts, trust me, you can get selected. But yeah, again, um, uh, the forum is always open for any eligible candidate. But again, data science is something which comes with practice. I, I whenever I you know I deliver um, lectures, I see some students coming and telling, sir, I've got not far do knowledge. Kahan se hai. As I told them, just hold a second, I'll give you some work. Apne aap samajh and then I today only like I was taking presentations for uh, EDA, exploratory data analysis. Then in, I tried to classify like uh, I had a class of 120. OK, A and B. I have 130. I have 10, 10 ka 13 teams. I have a live data set. I have data set. Lo, try to do exploratory data analysis. Try to understand from each perspective. The best comment which I got today, today only, I got from a guy named Harsh Pavani. He's also there in my LinkedIn. He said, sir, I didn't have IPL mein interest in IPL. But ye karne ke baad na, aaj mujhe IPL ka knowledge hai. If someone who is who comes and asks me ki, which team is on an average is dominating in IPL, I can say it's Mumbai Indians. Okay. And which on the winning percentage, winning percentage kiska sab se zada hai, it's Chennai Super Kings. So this is how inconsistency kiska hai, kaun sab se achha khela hai. He knows, he, the guy who doesn't knows anything, he doesn't, he hates cricket. He, he never liked cricket, but because of this exploratory data analysis, he has got that knowledge of cricket also. Does that make sense? Hello, who was it? Sorry, I couldn't ask your name. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Any more questions? Okay, the guys are active. I have sleeping girls over here. Is it? Hello. Yes, who is it? 
I want to ask that any website that you want to refer us to first learning of data analytics or machine learning, which is good. Don't go on. Don't go on the websites first. First bang on books because uh, if you know concepts based on books, there are n number of books. Trust me, just go and Google out uh, good data science books. You'll get so many books. Good data analytics books. You'll get good. Go ask Google. Google gives us so many, and even nowadays, pe people get PDF also very easily. If you if you don't get any time, you can just contact me. You can go through like you have teachers, Sandhya ma'am over here, who 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 she is actively contacting uh, with me. I can give you PDFs also. Okay, so that is what I can help. But again, prefer books first. Once you're done with books, then go to some. uh courses or go to because you know i tell you just directly jumping into course won't land you anywhere tum log ko 10 din interest lagega uske baad you will feel like what the shit is happening over here so to be very honest i would recommend go for books first try to understand read books try to read if you have 600 pages book make a target 30 days or 60 days ke andar mein ek din mein ek book padungi ऐसा टाइप में और एक बुक में चार चार पेज का बुक पढ़ना है मुझे एक बुक में ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मेक बेस फ्रॉम योर बुक्स वंस योर बेस इज डन यू विल योर सेल्फ अंडरस्टैंड विच डोमेन आई फॉल परफेक्ट डू आई वांट टू डू डीप लर्निंग डू आई वांट टू डू ओनली पाइथन डू आई वांट टू डू फुल स्टैक डेवलपमेंट और आई वॉन्ट टू बी ऑन जावा स्क्रिप्ट एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ओके सो फर्स्ट प्रिफर बुक्स there are like uh, n number of websites you just google out you'll get n number of people re recommending you okay but again i would say oral ka the python for data scientists ek book hai okay i'll if you want i'll share in the group mai wo uh, whatsapp group mein share kar dunga you can always uh, cope up with that try to learn from books it will be always beneficial okay i have omkar here what we have to do to become data science sir can you say part to become yeah that's what the whole workshop is about so hands on zyada karenge theory thoda kam karenge so basically we'll try to understand okay so the next section from now it will be a marathon session wherein i'm planning to cover today numpy pandas and matplotlib so these are three beautiful libraries which i use for python okay and you know uh, there are n numbers like there are the, you have r also but you know the flexibility which is been provided by python is really awesome there are myths that there's a new language which is known as julia coming into picture but again myth only myth and myth remains only myth okay so never ever just be better because you know i see people talking are julia are let's go and learn julia अब तुम पाइथन सीख रहे हो उसको अच्छे से सीखो ना पहले ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड देर आर मेनी ब्यूटीफुल थिंग्स इन पाइथन एंड एनी लाइक इफ यू इफ यू आर वेरी कंसिस्टेंट अबाउट आर डू टेक आर सीरियसली इफ यू आर सैस डू टेक सैस प्रॉपरली इफ यू आर जावा टेक जावा प्रॉपरली एंड बी इंटैक्ट just don't see the bulk is running at that point of time i tell you uh, a, a guy uh, there was a guy you know chief data scientist of my telstra uh, he is nas Uh, so nas krishi so nas was he now works in uh, melbourne metro so uh, he is a statistician he is from, basically from pakistan i asked him one question when he was interviewing me for my data science job uh, so he just asked i asked him that can you tell me what's different between between data and science and he liked this question a lot he said that you know 80% is data and 20% is science why because science comes in uh, in algorithm perspective if you know data very well you can make a prediction yourself ki what what this algorithm will work because understanding algorithm is easy that is a protocol okay that's kind of a protocol they have steps but understanding raw data is the biggest challenge which each and every industry pe people is facing today you will you have to spend time on the data to understand what the data tells what is the magnificent amount of data speaking out and based on that only you can be you can you can touch based on good things so your valuation increases more because you know just imagine you're standing in front of 50 people and everybody just speaking about i have run this model itna accuracy ye wo blah 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 only model perspective but out of that you come up you say that give me any business model give me some data i'll tell you pivot i'll pivot some insights and tell you what we can do next you know that whole crowd will get aside that person will pick you up so this is how your industry goes because because uh, building a model is just a chunk of thing but once you start giving insights on the data 
ट्रस्ट मी यूर यू हैव स्टार्टेड मेकिंग रेवेन्यू फॉर द कंपनी और कोई भी कंपनी के लिए अगर आप पैसा बना रहे हो रेवेन्यू बना रहे हो यू आर एन एसेट यू आर एन एसेट फॉर दैट कंपनी आप कुछ भी कर लोगे वो कंपनी नहीं छोड़ेगी आपको That makes sense, guys? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. So let's move ahead. Yes. So we have a marathon session. Anybody facing any doubts? I hope uh, Ma'am has shared you the link on WhatsApp. So I will take it. Sorry. Please go mute, guys. Uh, for me. Yeah. Please ask me some question, I guess. Okay. Please, please do ask. Yeah. Anybody who is asking, please let me know. Who is there? If you are not able to speak, the chat box. Okay, fine. So uh, we have a we'll we'll kickstart like a marathon session, and you know I've I've provided the uh, uh, the WhatsApp link a uh, group also. So you face any issues on any part, like आपको ये चीज नहीं समझी या कुछ भी, just post it on the WhatsApp group after the. Uh, after this uh, session gets over for today, I'll I'll try to reply each and every. Uh, answer over there so any doubts if you feel uh, uh it's 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 really uh, uh, foolish kind of uh, also it can be like very weird or foolish kind of question do ask it i uh, trust me if nobody will laugh because you know maybe your question would be uh, would uh, your question that you have it would be inclined to many other questions also and your an the answer that you get for your question may help others also so always keep learning with this perspective only agar aap pe koi do log hans rahe hain na trust me unko aur hasao i do roast people because once you start roasting things works very fine okay so <clears throat> let's do uh, so basically we use uh, anaconda so the first year and second years third year also please be intact and masters you are super awesome people you all know because you are all intact to ai so just keep uh, keep an eye what i'm telling but yeah we'll focus more on the first and the second and the third year students because you are the very very freshers over here okay masters again you you have good teachers in your organization they are intact so any queries i'm always open to help you all okay so what we'll do is we'll start with python we'll try to understand numpy pandas and matplotlib so this is where numpy is used for numerical programming okay if you have say n number of matrix agar aapke paas say you get a data of say 10 10000 into 10000 rows there in your uh, numpy numerical programming comes into picture and it has it has n number of functionalities that makes life easy like a chunk of life becomes very easy once you load the data and then you have pandas which works on data frames and data frames is nothing it is a tabular format data which helps you load any kind of data like you can even scrape data from anywhere and you can just uh, uh, pull it pull all the data using using some libraries like beautiful soup etc okay so that's where your data frame comes into picture your basic statistical analysis can be done over there uh, to understand the data and then we have matplotlib which will help you understand more on telling story delivering story aspect so i'll i'll put my everything over here and we'll try to understand on a very introductory level i have some good things over here so <clears throat> uh if you go uh, on the link i'll just uh, share the link after the after the session this is sia workshop day 1 and matplot day sia workshop matplot day these are the two folders wherein i have put this ipython so we are using we are trying to use google collab why i tell you reason uh, we can use anaconda also and i i guess many people would be familiar about using anaconda over here anaconda basic python or there would be n number of id libraries why i tell you use collab because we are all learning online okay aapka agar anaconda hoga you need to install numpy pandas you you need to do pip installs and based on that you have to install all the scientific python packages okay but over here google has come up with collab which is collaborative programming okay it is a research uh, research research platform given by google wherein you don't need to install anything you just need to come and code things are provided free of cost over here okay you get resources aligned so for that you you don't need to do anything you just need to go to google okay google and you just go make an account uh link to your gmail and you can just start programming okay basically what we'll do is this is a console where if i want to put data inside this is a drop box i click i get this connecting if you see this part it is doing connecting over here so if i see it is connecting to python 3 google compute engine 
and if you see it has given me ram it is it is having maximum 12.72 gb uh, ram out of that i've got 0.77 uh, gb ram allo allocated for my processing and out of 107.77 gb disk space i have been allotted the first chunk which is 30.22 gb so i have n number of things free of cost i'm not trying to put single money on it okay so this is this is kind of a tool awareness that you can come up don't need to just sit because i know uh, i have seen many sessions many workshop that ends pehle ke 1 ghante se full log installations mein hi karte guzarte hain so out of that this is again it is something wherein you can cope up things and work fast so google collab okay so let's let's uh, talk about numpy okay so numpy is basically a package for scientific computing wherein it is known for numerical or large amount of mathematical uh, mathematical calculations done in a very easy perspective so little history about numpy wherein the dawn of the python knowledge the developers began to need perform numerical calculations jaise aapka data badhega waise aapka calculations badhega you will have n number of people doing things so the first attempt was numeric developed by jim hugnin okay in 1995 okay hugnin which was successfully followed by an alternative packages called num array okay so it is like num num d array num py array kind of like that so that came uh, evolving based on arrays only it came into python which which was named as numpy was proven as an extension library for python okay to do scientific calculation scientific calculation nothing it's just bulk of matrix that do calculation gives you in a very stipulated amount of time that is called as scientific programming okay and i it, it's normal like if i give you to calculate manually you will take n number of days like one day but this this thing came up wherein your calculation becomes more strong on data perspective okay so installation is very easy either you can use anaconda i'll also show you anaconda over here how you can use uh, something which is inside so you can, can go anaconda python okay you can open this is the anaconda okay from here you can installation guide is over here you can just go and download based on your uh, windows mac os anything which you have and you can also see the version 32 bit or 64 so from here you can just go and download and if after that you just need to do conda install numpy so when you are uh, putting anaconda anaconda mein baad mein hum python 3 console pe jaake conda install karna padega then you have pip install numpy which will uh, you uh, will which will be used uh, using pip so pip install is also used for doing uh, for installing python packages after that what happens we have say nd array so nd array is the heart of library because all the array which is maybe say one uh, like 2 by 2 matrix 3 by 3 matrix can be added over here and it will also show the d type of it so basically the d type is nothing but what kind of data the numpy is holding okay and then based on that you you may have positive integers specified with the size and dimensions and also the axis as a rank that is been given so that's all about nd array wherein nothing i mean um, this just a theoretical part again uh, we don't have to code theoretical part we just understand it by an example so we what do we do by creating an array so just don't focus on picture let's understand a code perspective okay <clears throat> import numpy as np wherein you are importing numpy okay from there you are giving an alias name where is np so np aap kahin bhi use karoge to the np dot array it will give it will make an array over here which is 1 2 3 okay if you are putting b okay b np dot array it will uh, make an array of say float which is d type float to usko hum log already pehle hi annotate karke de denge that this is a d type float so what you'll do is numpy okay b is equal to numpy uh, 1.523 and you have another another sector of list which is 456 d type will float so basically will tell that although you are make you are seeing that there is bulk of uh, bulk of uh, observations that is integer still i have put a float so make it as a d type float and again we have another phrase wherein we have a multiple list intact with the d type float so if you want to run this it's very easy either place this over here and do shift enter or else you can just run this so if you click it will run okay once it is run you will you will get all this syntax so for example you need to understand what is inside a what what is inside b so this is like either you have to do code so click over here it will make another cell or you want to just make text click on text it will try to give you the text part this is text so this is a tool really very useful you can just 
imbibe it. Okay. So how this one D array is? One D array, which we have done before, one, two, three blocks. Two D array, one point five, two, three. This is the two. Uh, 2D array. So, 3D array kiya tha last mein. This is for type float. This looks like this. Okay. So you have axis 0, 1, and 2. Why? The basic difference, please make Python starts with always with 0. Wo 0 se start hoga. And R, which is another competitor, which was another competitor, I can say that because R is used very less. R is more dominant on statistical analysis. Wherever you are using statistical models, uh, R plays a vital role. Till date, okay, but still again Python comes up again with uh, with uh, with with this aspect. So uh, R will always start with one, but Python starts on zero. Okay, so basically we'll try to print again. We uh, we have put in uh, with the star uh, star format. We're trying to print. So print A will print A B in this uh, in the particular order. Okay, and then I want to just see that A ka n dimensions kitna hai. How many dimensions do we have? So there is a library which is called A and uh, A A dot n dimensions. Okay, which will work. Again, I'll tell you the basic beauty of this. I have run up, uh, above and I say I have A A dot. It will automatically recommend you what all functionalities and classes you can use over here. So if I say it is already showing me a list of all the all the uh, functionalities or functions that I can use for particular object. This 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 data frame or you can say this list. OK, so I say n automatically it filters out n dimensions. We run it. It's of one. If I say shape b dot shape same size, it will show me the size, total size which is of C, which is of this C ka total size 12. Hai. That is all about it showing. We have say data type. It will show me the data type which is float because we have mentioned out over here d type as float okay so this is all about float then we have say initial placeholder so how this initial placeholders comes into picture so they say for example i don't have i don't want to type data i just want the system should take directly uh the 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 uh, uh, normal data so it is like np dot zeros okay zeros me three by four so it will create an create an array of zeros so yeah zero by uh, uh, three by four ka Array create kadega. So let's try to run. I'm trying to just comment this so that this doesn't work properly. Okay. If I run np.0, it is creating a 3 by 4 matrix, which is all of zeros. Similarly, I'll comment this, uncomment this, and try to run, which is 3. Okay. This is this is once which will have by 3 uh, 2 by 3. Okay, which will have two sets of uh, 3 by 4 ka matrix. Okay, two sets of 3 by 4 ka matrix. In that you have Technically, you are putting D type as NP, which is numpy. Okay, dot int 16. Okay, that creates an array of one. This is how you create another another aspect to this. We have said D D is equal to NP dot arrange. So now what you will do is an array of evenly spaced value, which is step value. So what will it do? It will start with 10, it will 24, because 25 is one, one minus. Hota hai so last amount mein jo bhi dunga, 25 diya to 24 tak jayega with five steps okay ye step size lega 5 ka 5 5 chhod ke okay this is done we put d over here yeah there is printing out d now so is it 10 10 ke baad usne seedhe 15 liya aur fir 20 liya aur fir 25 nahi print kiya kyu maine 25 diya yahan pe so 25 se minus 1 if i say i give 26 now i run i get 25 also okay so this is how it is and then line space <clears throat> again it will start from 0 go till 2 okay with with splitting of 9 spaces okay number of samples wo iter karega usse, okay so this is how your initial placeholder works okay you you don't need to put anything it automatically take okay if you want to create a constant array for example so np dot full will help you creating constant array if you want i like 2 by 2 matrix okay so let's run this Yeah. We have F here. Yeah. So this is your identity matrix that is used by a function called np.i. 
okay that's an identity matrix based on that only we have say random okay this what it does is it will take random two by two matrix it will take ra random numbers so np dot random dot random which is uh, taking random numbers okay it keeps changing if you again again run it you will have different numbers coming in okay so like that it creates and same is empty if you want an empty 3 by 2 okay so this is how it creates an empty array okay now types of data so basically type of data is np array wherein you are just putting string so ye aapko yahan pe string ka value dega so if you go over here it's showing you d type as string over here okay same because you are putting all the string values agar yahi mein if i just remove this one part okay ye it will show me an error okay usne kya kiya isko it took 1 2 3 over here because a a ka value humne upar kahi 1 2 3 diya hai okay so that's the reason it is taking a value over there aur agar aap yahan dekhoge it become it becomes an object over here but since i put this is again since i put this it becomes string this is how you play with small small factors wherein you have you are getting this string then you again if you want to understand what is the d type you want to understand what is the name it is string 32 okay then you take another wherein you are, you you need to you are putting in some values but you are assigning it to say complex multiplication so a so complex program you just need to run f is equal to np and you have to give it d type as complex so yahi 1 2 hai wo ek complex number mein change ho jayega so basically one line in your work your work is done this is the beauty of numpy okay and then if you have say intrinsic creation of any array which is like internal so np.0 is again 3 by 3 matrix np.1 so will be again create one of 3 by 3 matrix and so on and then you see np.rl the feature that will particularly use in arrange so basically if you want to arrange something randomly humne bola ki print a print a print a program to uh, display top uh, like uh, top 100 arrange 100 numbers in a row so you can't go and set programming so basically np dot arrange give the starting and give the ending it will print it out so if you see zero se start hua 10 tak end diya hai to 9 tak usne print kar diya why because minus 1 then again here np dot arrange it will start from 4 and end at 9 again okay same thing so basically it is possible again you want some some arrangements that needs to be done but with some step size like do chhod ke ya teen chhod ke random state you can say random state so this will np dot rm you will add a third part over here which will just try to hop skipping those three letters so i just say you are giving it should print okay so let's print like this first okay isne kya print kiya aapka 1 0 till 11 okay ab maine usse kya kiya maine ek step size de diya usko ki just leave 3 i'll start printing give, give results leaving 3 3 so it will hop from there the same goes on your float part also if you are starting from 0 and going till 6 and uska space 0.6 to ye 0 0.6 1.2 6 6 ka 0.6 ka space chhodte chhodte wo 5.4 tak print karega okay so, so so far we have seen only one dimensional array the gen, uh, uh, to generate two dimensional arrays we again use arrange only okay use a range function or say reshape because you can take some values and then you can start reshaping it into different sectors so for example i say np dot random okay three so it should select any three values so let's run that np dot random dot random into bracket three uh, if your condition is you can even take five it will automatically take five so since we have it will take three run it it will take random three numbers and again you have say three by three same wahi cheez mein मैं एक और डाल रहा हूं यहाँ पे विच विल टेक टू विच विल टेक लाइक थ्री बाई थ्री मेट्रिक्स थ्री कॉमा थ्री इट विल मेक अ मेट्रिक्स ऑफ थ्री बाई थ्री सो यूर जस्ट अ चेंज इन कॉमा एंड पुटिंग एन एडिशनल पैरामीटर विल गिव यू योर डिजाइड वैल अगेन यू कैन ऑल्सो परफॉर्म बेसिक ऑपरेशन विच आर लाइक एन पी ए एन पी डॉट अरेन्ज फोर सो इट विल टेक फोर वैल्यूज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टिल फोर्थ Okay, zero, one, two, three. Okay, so it started from zero randomly. So that that's a range. Then again, you want your present array. Just say A. Me, I have printed. Kar diya. A. Ka pehla value zero hai. One, two, and three. So I want that. Mera one plus. I want to add four more to it. 
लाइक आई डोंट वांट टू गो स्पेसिफिक लाइक एक्सप्लिसिटली जाके मेरे को इंटरनल उसे चेंज करना हो जस्ट गिव 1 प्लस 4 इट ऑटोमेटिकली विल टेक तो जीरो के जगह पे 4 हो जाएगा बिकॉज़ इट इज डूइंग प्लस 4 टू दिस प्लस 1 प्लस 4 टू 1 व्हिच इज 5 सिमिलरली 6 एंड 3 So automatic. If I want to do multiplications, again same multiplication is equal to one into two automatically. ये एक set लेगा. But again, this is not updating. If you see, it will again go to the basic and do it. So it is, it is, it is kind of taking it just a chunk of cash over here. कि ये इतने ही cell के अंदर इसका value रहेगा. It will not affect the near, uh, the near or dear ones over here. Okay. So how this happens? Just an illusion of a pick. A plus B directly. The array is found. Okay. This is how it has been done. Okay. अगर ये size mismatch हुआ, it won't happen. Okay. So this is how you are doing. So basically, आप a plus b करोगे, तो automatically आपको four, six, eight, ten मिल जाएगा. So if I am doing it over here, np dot arrange, okay. Np dot arrange में four to eight तक मेरे को लेने बोला है. I am doing this. I am getting four to eight. Okay. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight print नहीं होगा, because it will go minus one. Okay. So that is late. <coughs> Over here, and for example, if I say यहाँ पे मैं आपको दे देता हूँ minus one, तो ये क्या करेगा? Last का digit ही print करेगा seven, okay? In if if I say say two minus two, तो ये second last print करेगा. The same thing happens from here. If I go say zero, it will print the first, okay? First four because it is starting from four. One करेंगे तो वो second value उठाएगा वहाँ का. So this is based on the index. It starts from zero and it works. Okay. Then say we are printing a plus b, which is this calculation that I have shown in the picture. A minus b. Then you have n p dot sine into b that you are taking a a me up n p sine theta laga rahe ho based on b and you are putting n p dot square root on b. That has been run. If you see, you will get the answers over here. Sare logo ka. So you have four by four mat uh, one by four matrix that is showing plus over here, minus over here. It is. This is n p dot sine theta. The other parts over here. Uh, in in this is into sine and square roots. Okay. So this is how you work basically with your uh, with your basic operations that you use. Okay. On your numpy. So we are strictly based on numpy only till now. Okay. Now what we do is we try to move on multi-dimensional cases. Even where the arithmetic operations continues to operate element-wise, so basically, I will handle element-wise. Just like if I have three by three, then all three by three should be changed. For example, I do. I take a variable x. 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 I take a तो ये सिंगल लाइन में होगा लेकिन उसको मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ डॉट रीशेप कर रहा हूँ आई वांट दैट टू बी रीशेप इनटू थ्री बाय थ्री सो दिस विल प्रिंट दिस तो इसने क्या किया नंबर वाइज जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इनटू थ्री बाय थ्री के मैट्रिक्स में प्रिंट कर दिया है सेम I want b, which is n p dot ones. That means three by three का one का बनाना है मुझे. So this is over here. Okay. And then you, I print b. And then what I do is I try to multiply both based on element, which is three by three, three by three. ये दोनों सेम है ऑन एलिमेंट वाइज दैट्स द रीजन आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू मल्टीप्लिकेशन वंस अ मल्टीप्लिकेशन इज डन यू गेट दिस वैल्यू सो लेट्स रन दिस शिफ्ट एंटर वर्क्स ऑटोमेटिकली ओके नाउ यू आल्सो हैव सेम मैट्रिक्स प्रोडक्ट ओके मैट्रिक्स प्रोडक्ट होता है जो कि डॉट प्रोडक्ट होता है सो आई मीन एवरी मैथमेटिशियंस ओवर हियर आई मीन टीचर्स आर ऑल ऑल अवेयर अबाउट दिस दिस कैन हैपन इन जस्ट वन लाइन वेयर एंड यू हैव से टू एनपी डॉट विल विल टेक मैट्रिक्स प्रोडक्ट automatically it will show a and b so ye a and b ka matrix product utha ke aapko calculate karke de dega how does this matrix product work is given in this uh, uh, this uh, uh, image explanation so basically uh, ye a ka first uthayega aise aur b ka yahan se uthayega it will give you answer then a ka 3 4 5 into 1 into 1 into 1 which will give you 12 total and out okay and then for example if you just want a dot b okay np but other way to get the same thing is instead of using np you can just give directly i am taking a element dot b that will also give me the same analysis okay and again np i am just wise doing wise versa okay i don't want this to happen with ab i want this to uh, want to have with b and a then this can also handle the same 
okay so that's how you do on the dot product aspects now we have say increment and decrement so basically how does this increment increment and decrement operator work so basically kaisa hai aapne ek ek array bana dijiye aur wahan pe aapko increment karna hai so either you try to do plus 1 jo maine aapko upar bataya aur ya fir plus and equal to agar ke usko aage badhana hai jaise aapne usko 0 0 se ye kar diya hai aur usme ek 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 plus karna hai jaise ye hai 0 1 2 3 isme plus plus karna hai with with strict in place wahi pe intact hona chahiye wo so you will just do plus is equal to 1 which you have also used in your c c++ so automatically run so automatically yahan pe 0 jahan pe 1 ho jayega plus 1 okay like keeps changing same with deletion process okay minus 1 you will try to do minus 1 on that so this big again becomes to the name array so aap jab ye process se karoge automatically ye aapka intact in place pe change ho jayega again you are doing minus it will come over here now you want to do since your array value is say 0 1 2 3 okay you are putting plus 4 automatically aapka bad okay this is how and the same goes with multiplication also so these are very small small aspects already pre built okay and the beautiful factor over here is you know whenever you start typing over here anything okay the the system again tries to show what all you can do with this function so it's self explanatory there is also some uh, some more uh, plugins that are that comes with visual studio uh, uh, you can you can use or with, with, which can be uh, working as a um, uh, in, inside your pycharm pycharm eda uh, ed editor hota hai aapka pycharm karke isme aap plugins laga doge to you just put आप कोडिंग खाली चालू करो लिखना वो ऑटोमेटिकली बताएगा आगे क्या क्या लिखना है आपको सो सच थिंग्स आर ऑलरेडी बीन डेवलप्ड सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग जस्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग कोडिंग और कोडिंग इज ओनली नॉट द थिंग दैट कैन मेक यू सरवाइव ओके देयर आर एन नंबर ऑफ पीपल हु कैन अंडरस्टैंड हु कैन बी वेरी वेल ऑन कोडिंग एस्पेक्ट बट जस्ट इमेजिन अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिजनेस अलोंग विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिजनेस अलोंग विद ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके Uh, along with coding and business understanding you are the perfect fit for the environment or you can say for the industry okay so this is how last part we will just go and see which is a uh, uh, universe okay so universal function which is u u okay that comes under square roots so you can even perform square roots i have given an np array dot arrange which starts from 1 to 5 so 1 2 3 4 okay 5 pe nahi aayega 4 tak run karega उसको अगर मुझे स्क्वायर रूट करना है ऑटोमेटिकली वो स्क्वायर रूट कर लेगा इफ आई वांट टू मेक लॉग एनपी डॉट लॉग ओके इफ आई वांट टू डू साइन एनपी डॉट साइन सो दीज आर काइंड ऑफ यू कैन से यूनिवर्सल यू फंक्शंस दैट आर बीइंग यूज्ड एंड फॉर एग्जांपल द कैलकुलेशंस में ये सारे यूज होते हैं देयर आर एन नंबर ऑफ मोर यू कैन ऑलवेज ऑलवेज गो एंड चेक आउट ऑटोमेटिकली कहीं अगर नहीं मिल रहा है जस्ट क्लिक ओवर हियर पुट एनपी डॉट यू ऑटोमेटिकली गेट द होल पंच आउट ऑफ हियर ओके यू वांट एन एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू okay so this gives you whole explanation if you see down if i go all close max a max a min okay what extra you have to put you have to put anything on the axis none hoga out none hoga keep dimensions and so on okay so it already keeps you intact with what is the next that you need to do and once you just put a, a, a just an enter it will automatically take it okay and <clears throat> and there is n number of things like you get even sign blocks okay if you want to just understand it is it a bull or something like that bytes based on that okay and then you have aggregate functions aggregate functions we are studying from so many time there is sum min max okay so i have a np array which is and given a float value okay i'm trying to get the sum of it so basically again we will get dot sum dot min again dot max you will find the max from the whole array and if you want a min it will al already get you min and if you want a standard deviation dot std so basically you don't need to import any additional aspects it's all inbuilt over here you just need to put in using your numpy okay numpy gives you so much flexibility okay this is your this comes under your uh, aggregate functions the last part of numpy which is really exciting is how do you do indexing slicing and iterating like how do you select things jaise maine aapko dikha tha minus 1 dala to wo last wala utha liya usne okay and it it started picking out all the aspects so basically how do we do is this is like this 
सो अगर आप देखोगे दिस इज एन एरे विच इज टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन फाइव टोटल सिक्स मेरे पास है ओके तो अगर आप मेरे को If I want to go from negative perspective, if I want to select from negative aspects, I will just try to put minus six to a ten. दे देगा. उसी जगह पर positive end से डालूँगा तो मैं zero डालूँगा. Index A with the index zero, I'll get ten. A with the index one, I'll get eleven. A with the index two, I'll get twelve, and so on. Okay. So say same thing. N P dot arrange from ten to sixteen. I have. I'm just trying to find what is A of fourth index. Okay. So A of fourth index में fourteen है. It should give me 14. Same. If I want to take it from negative aspects, I just need to put minus 2 over here. It will give my. It will give you the same result. Okay. So please try to understand from a negative aspect also, from a positive aspect also, you can approach things. Okay. So that is like indexing. This comes under indexing part, wherein you play around. Please pay pay attention to the square bracket rule. Okay, index plays around square bracket. You refer this by square brackets. Okay. After this, again we have taken some more samples, and we work on it. Okay. So and even if you want to select multiple, again just need to put a comma. Put your aspects. It will all all it will be already intact. So it will take one place of one, three and four automatically printed. Okay. Again. Moving on to two-dimensional. If you have, we saw just one-dimensional over here. Now two-dimensional. So I have say again, np dot arrange from 10 to 19. That means for 10 to 18, the print will be. And I am reshaping it around three by three. Mein. Let's run it. If it is showing yes, it is shuttered 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 till 18. It's three by three, split it into three by three matrix. Okay. Now if you see, this is the position. This is zero comma zero. Here it will come. 1 comma 1, okay. 1 comma 1 आएगा तो यहाँ पे आपका value आएगा based on that, okay. 1 comma 2 करोगे तो 15 आएगा, 1 comma 0 करोगे 13 आएगा. Similarly, 2 comma 0, 16 देंगे. So based on that, if I say 1 comma 2, I'm putting 1 and 2, I got 15. Or say if I put over here, 2 comma 2 will give me 18. Okay. So this is how your matrix works. With your slicing, okay, sorry, indexing on your multi-dimensional array, which is reshaped by three by three, okay. Now you, the best part over here is slicing. So slicing is I want to select only few things. I don't want to select anything else more than that. So that is by given separated by columns over here, okay. So this is how your np dot arrange. We start a, a array starting from ten. It will go till sixteen, okay. Sixteen तक जाएगा. Sixteen तक जाने के बाद वो 15 का प्रिंट कर देगा वहां पे इट विल नॉट गो अहेड ऑफ 15 ओके एंड देन आई एम व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम पुटिंग द एरे ए आई वांट लाइक आई वांट दोस नंबर्स व्हिच स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम ए एंड व्हिच गोस टिल 5 दैट मींस वो फोर्थ वैल्यू तक तो यहां पे क्या करेगा ये ये है 0 ये है 1 ये है 2 3 4 एंड 5 सो सिंस आई हैव गिवन 5 वो माइनस 1 में जाएगा तो क्या करेगा वन विच इज इलेवन इलेवन प्रिंट करेगा टू थ्री फोर वो फाइव पे नहीं जाएगा दस रन इट गेट योर आंसर ठीक है सो सिमिलर वे अगेन इफ यू वांट टू जंप फ्रॉम वन टू फाइव विथ टू टू का स्पेस इट विल टेक वन फिर दो का स्पेस के बाद वो फिफ्थ उठाएगा ओके वहां तक वो टू टू के स्पेस पे हॉप मारता जाएगा ओके नाउ दिस पार्ट वेर इन हाउ यूल डू इज यू आर गेटिंग से डबल डॉट्स ओके Double dots, which is all rows, all columns, till two only. So this will take ten into ten. Okay, ten, twelve, fourteen. You run, you get ten, twelve, and fourteen. Okay, मतलब आपका end पूरा end पूरा होना चाहिए. You select all, all the columns, all the rows. Okay, and it should go with a hop of two. So पहले ten करेगा. Okay. फिर एक दो छो, एक छोड़ेगा बीच में ओके सेकंड सेकंड एलिमेंट उसका निकाल देगा ट्वेल्थ करेगा थर्ड एलिमेंट निकाल देगा फोर्टीन करेगा फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट निकाल देगा वी डोंट हैव इवन सिक्सटीन सो दिस इज द एरे विच इज कमिंग ओवर ओवेयर सेम विद गो फ्रॉम ईयर वी विल स्टार्ट ओके एंड देन वी हैव से फाइव कॉमर टेन सो बेसिकली वो टेन टेन प्रिंट कर रहा है हमें यहाँ पे टेन प्रिंट करने के बाद क्या करेगा वो सीधे उठा के ट्वेल्व पे जाएगा बिकॉज यू हैव से टू And it will go till fifth element. That means so fourth element तक ही जाएगा print करने which is fourteenth over here. Okay, so fourteenth element तक ही वो उठाएगा with sorry fourteenth element तक ही उठाएगा with the space of hopping from one and taking the next. Okay, and the similarly 
यू हैव अनदर विच विल गो टिल ट्वेल्व विथ नो हॉपिंग्स तो इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन पूरा टेन टू इलेवन विदाउट नो हॉप्स इट विल टेक सो दिस इज हाउ यू आर स्लाइसिंग वर्क फ्रॉम फ्रॉम योर प्योटल टेबल लाइक यू हैव एन आर ए फ्रॉम दैट यूर प्योटिंग समथिंग एंड यूर कमिंग अपट ओके so as regards to this case study we have again uh, two dimensional again np dot uh, arrange 10 by 19 which will start from 10 and by 18 and we are reshaping it into 3 by 3 matrix based on that what i'm doing is i'll take i'll start it from 0 okay ye yahan pe 0 and i'll take all the row columns over to ye kya karega 10 11 12 sab utha lega wo row us us pure column ka wo utha lega okay so this is the one data observation if i see from a data perspective this is one data that i'm putting i'm getting whole one data ye 13 14 15 is one data point 16 17 data is one data point so agar main yahan pe basically i'll put one over here to ye kya karega i'll try to print 13 14 15 to next kya hoga yahan pe if i put two over here then automatically take slicing on 16 ye okay similarly agar yahi cheez main dusra change karke dalunga say i put ye a comma zero तो क्या करेगा 10, 13, 16. तो बिकॉज ये 10 यहाँ पे उठा लेगा ये ऐसे ये प्रोस्पेक्टिव में वो प्रिंट करना शुरू होगा टेन थर्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन ओवर सिमिलरली वॉट वी डू इज जीरो टू टू एंड जीरो टू टू ऑन द बोथ पार्ट दिस इज ऑन द दिस पार्ट ओके एंड दिस पार्ट इज ओवर ऑन द ऑरिजोटल वर्टिकल पार्ट तो इसमें क्या आएगा आपका टेन आएगा ओके टेन इलेवन थर्टीन फोर्टीन ओके सो जी फ्रॉम यूर जीरो टिल टू and from your 0 to 2 to sirf itna hi aapka chalega 10 11 13 and 14 we have excluded the 2 2 part okay so why because 0 1 and 2 maine 2 diya hai yahan pe that means ye 1 tak hi uthayega agar main yahan pe samjho 3 de du 3 over here and over here 3 see it has taken the whole data set okay so ye third position tak utha raha hai which is 0 1 and 2 third position to isme hai hi nahi okay this is how it works okay and then if you want to iterate so this is very simple everybody knows for loop in this scenarios okay so iterating of an array is nothing for i in a which is the whole uh, which is the whole uh, uh, list we just print what is the value that is in a okay so we run it will just take and if you want to just print the row for row where in i am not putting i for row in a just print rows so automatically sara matrix mera row row perspective pe print kar dega and if i want to flatten each jaise maine isko reshape kiya hai aur isko mujhe wapas se align karna hai there is a function called a dot flat so for items in a dot flat which is flatten it will try to flatten to kaisa hoga na ki in industry there are some places where you need to pivot things from your matrix form to a सीरियलाइज सिक्वेंशियल नंबर फॉर्म तो वहां पर हमारा फ्लैटन आता है सो यू यूज इट एन लॉर्ड ऑफ प्लेस जैसे आपका कंटेंट क्यूरेशन होता है ऑन एन ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म तो आप कभी देखोगे तो आपको ना बहुत सारे ब्लॉक्स दिखेंगे सो दो आर एक्चुअली मेट्रिक से देट यू हैव अ जॉनर वन जॉनर टू का मूवी लेकिन जब आप इसको क्लिक करोगे लिस्ट बन जाएगी लाइक यू कैन यू कैन गो लाइक दिस जैसे हमारा यूट्यूब का प्ले लिस्ट होता है अगर अगर मैं नॉर्मल इफ यू सी देर आर सो मेनी रिकमेंडेशन दिस इज द मेट्रिक्स फॉर्मेट बट अगर मैं एक वीडियो पे क्लिक करूंगा वो फ्लैटन कर देगा ओके इट विल स्टार्ट डूइंग फ्लैटनिंग ओके वो सिंगल लिस्ट यहाँ पे हमारे सामने लिस्ट आता है ओके तो वो ये दिस परस्पेक्टिव इट डज ऑन दिस परस्पेक्टिव ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके so by this uh, we end on the numpy aspect a uh, very introductory that there's a lot of things if you see but again i always request you just go put one a dot you will get the whole of python and uh, like uh, python numpy scientific basis so you can go and explore on each and every aspect try to understand full travel real repeat reshape resize this round set field set flag on boolean aspects you can always go but this what i have covered are the major chunks that are used on daily on on daily basis like we in industry use this as the mandate any doubts guys please let me know <clears throat> hey man there's no questions only i hope you all are you all are not sleeping and i'm not making you sleep no sir yes no, sir, yes, sir. No sir. No sir. Okay, perfect. So 
any queries you have you want to ask based on numpy on any perspective industry perspective personal life perspective any information anything around numpy you want to ask anything guys no doubt sir no doubts i mean this is super awesome can i have few students from first years who can just come up on chat with me guys 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 anybody from first year can i have someone okay seems like everyone is busy no issues let's take on <coughs> let's take on pandas okay the next part which is pandas again pandas very 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 truly very awesome awesome uh, concept wherein we will try to understand how do we run with pandas what are the basic functionalities what are the types of uh, you can say what are the different types of uh, how do we load data external data into it okay just give me a minute guys i'll i'll, I'll continue just a minute yeah okay thank you so much guys i just needed to drink water thank you so much for that uh, appreciate your wait okay so uh, next is pandas wherein we try to understand pandas in a very uh, detailed way i promise a thoda sa session extend ho jayega 230 se but prom i'll promise you get more insights okay so just bear with me because i when when i start the flow it goes on so let's take uh, on that uh, I'll click start. I'll not waste time more. So I'll say Google. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Okay. So Google Collab. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. Just a second. Here we go. pandas library yeah <clears throat> so now uh, i'll also show you with this flow i'll try to show you how do we load data external data to be loaded on the system okay so if you see this is not connected over here okay i'll just uh, touch based on this drop box if you see over here in drop box it tries to get connect okay try try this try it started allocating it is connecting it will initialize and if you see there's python 3 google compute engine that is working in the background so now if you see there's already sample data which google has already given so it is say json format say test csv train csv we have mnist data set anybody who knows about mnist data set in the house over here anybody knowing what is mnist data set anybody worked around i guess narayan uh, narayan would be here uh, hey narayan are you here yes sir so you might be knowing mnist data i'm pretty much sure do you yes sir yeah so i mean i have i, I have had word with narayan like he has worked on really super awesome predictive model that he has done and he is trying he was trying to uh, deploy it on heroku so i mean kudos to him he is really working hard so i mean first years and second years if you face any problems on python part of numpy pandas you can catch hold of his uh, his leg okay you can you can even ask this guy to uh, take take sessions for you all in in your intermediate time like if you if if 10 people can just sit down i can just say that this i am people how do they work is uh, if someone who knows the topic very well they try to collaborate with each other and tell that person to teach that concerned topic for instance and the personal learning so you, you you know you know you don't need to 
pinpoint anyone like you just need to go and approach that person hey hi you know this concept i came to know just try to explain so i know you know you have a good asset narayan is a good asset and i am pretty much sure there are many many guys over here because he this guy came in contact with me via sandhya ma'am okay so he he is really enthusiastic but 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 i will also say along with this don't try to run fast from your time because you know industry will never accept even today also for me also i may not i may have all the knowledge but i may no not have that protocol to access the development part okay so still but again never to demotivate things because you know there's everything that learning comes up with this only you need to know from where you need to open the knot and you you should understand where your knot should be tied properly so on this note let's start on the pandas part so i have already loaded this uh, uh, this is this is the preloaded that comes from google aspects okay now i want to just uh, uh, like upload so i'll just take uh, take on uh, take on the data set which uh, we have we need to do so i have say over here first day workshop okay i want to select all let's let's load everything so that you can understand how how this works okay so i've selected just open it will be on on your server for 12 hours okay so 12 hours this will keep and then it will remove okay so see if you, it's this loading this is loading this image is loading so you are up trying to upload so nothing you just need to go click on the drop box you just need to if you want inside this sample data you can create over here and upload but i want it outside i want it into the content folder okay so like that we will be taking instance over here okay so it's taking little time uh, and okay python library okay this is also getting loaded no worries let's cancel this okay so over here we have uh, okay okay so i have n number of uh, things uh, up lined over here okay if you see uh, all the text in csv we have other type of uh, 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 files also which is dot txt dot csv anybody can uh, can tell me what is csv full form of csv anybody comma separated file comma separated comma values oh, okay i tell yeah and uh, if someone who knows uh, comma separated values is very easy in processing even in your hadoop distributed system you have comma separated values or any system that gives out you data always prefers to give out in comma separated values why i tell you comma separated values is easy for processing because it will take less cost okay so comma separated values kya karta hai mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is again let me show let me show let me show yeah okay let's take it from here so comma separated values kya karega agar jaise for example you have three columns okay से वन टू थ्री फोर सो ये आपके टैबलर डेटा में कैसे जाएगा इट विल बी लाइक बॉक्सेस और एन एरे असाइंड एरे सो वन एरे विल होल्ड वन एलिमेंट ओके बट कॉमा सेपरेटेड वैल्यूज आर जस्ट इजी प्रोसेसिंग बिकॉज ये टेक्स्ट फाइल में भी कॉमा 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 कर सकते हैं जस्ट एक्सटेंशन टू शुड बी डॉट सी एस वी ओके सो द प्रोसेसिंग इज वेरी फास्ट सो अगर समझो आपका लैक्स एंड लैक्स में डेटा होगा तब आप कैसे काम करोगे यू विल इट विल बी मोर फास्ट इन सी एस वी फॉर्मैट ओके so that's that's the beauty of uh, csv and much more used it, it is highly used highly used you know every company every organization who wants a uh, data that has been fetched from an outside world always bangs on dot csv pattern okay so always used uh, highly used so let's let's start with uh, python what is basically python so let's let's put this out over here and understand from the theoretical aspect okay so it came into picture okay and primarily it was from 2018 and it's and it came later into 2012 when shing chang was one of the colleagues was added to the development together and he performed and made actually used for our whole python uh, community okay so basically that's a uh, pycon if you go out uh, you can search on in the, uh, on on your google also that's pycon that is the python community okay which use uh, which uses all this uh, beautiful stuff and even you can participate out and work on the packages so they they have the sequence of um, multiple checks that helps us you to deploy your code and that can also be used for your in uh, uh, your personal use okay so that's how so panda arises from the need 
to have a specific library for analysis of the data which provides in a simplified possible way so it will take your data okay and it will just paste it in a tabular format so that it can be readable for you and understandable and again apart from presenting it in a very simple possible way it is also has an instrument that can be used for processing the data it can extract and do data manipulation uh, ma manipulation with the go so the python package is designed on the basis of numpy library so pehle numpy bana numpy ka base usne uthaya jahan se wo nd arrays ka concept utha ke usko usne data frame se convert kiya so this is all the history of your numpy array pandas is an open source okay so open source means free of cost okay you can use it highly specialized only for data analysis okay only to koi bhi jo aapka tool bhi hota hai market mein na uske back end mein they use pandas pandas even big data processing mein you use wherever you are using python spark also which is known as py spark has an sql code which is known as uh, spark sql which is run by pandas only okay so this is how you use an industry on a very large scale okay so now we have the installation it is done basically on conda conda install pandas and if you want to upgrade your package you can just say conda upgrade pandas it will update the anaconda package but again if you are using pip it's just basically pip install pandas which will all install your whole pandas file okay now you also need to have your first opening session which is basically you need to install or say import so that you get all the features so basically this is the very you can say karan arjun of data analytics world okay pandas and numpy they go hand in hand everywhere okay so this is how you have to import so let's import it you have to just run this based on that and how do they try to analyze so basically isme kya hota hai na ek hota hai series okay the heart and other is the data frame so series data frame okay and data frame so we have series one and another part is data frame that are two primary data structures in which all transactions of your numpy is been done your numpy will either be done using series or majorly when it comes to say data science machine learning model uh, and running machine learning models you have data frame at a very large scale and i mean i mean very large scale like you have say even you have data in say millions also data frame is capable to work on it the only thing is you need to have a good internet connection okay so now uh, the series the series is an object of it is kind of an object of your pandas library that is designed to represent one dimensional data structures and when you have multiple dimensional it goes on ahead okay so how it is a series look like you have an index you have a value which is zero starts from zero obviously because we are in python if we would have been been in r it would have been started from one so the value which has been given simultaneously is this 12 say 40 minus 14 79 okay we try to put it on paper so let's we let's do we are trying to declare a series wherein i'm taking import pandas as pd import numpy as np and then i'm giving 12 minus 4 17 as a series and i'm trying to print so basically it will it has taken all numerical so it is showing me int 64 okay now uh, ahead i can also put an index to this so basically yahan pe mera 0 1 2 3 index aa raha hai usko main ek name de sakta hu so nothing just a comma and an additional parameter which is coming as index i give it into uh, into a string which is called a comma b comma c comma d and i run it so basically it will get <coughs> okay so basically it will get a so it is get replaced from the index number from an alphabet number okay so if i see you want to say only for example you have say uh, you have say index named as abcd but only you want values so based on that you can just put s dot values it will only pick this section of your value only this section and it will print if you only want to print index again s dot index it is like a series combination of index and values okay even index value okay now again if you want to do slicing just say s ka second part which is 0 1 2 it will print 7 over here okay same if you want to access from index just print b to minus 4 print kar dega yahan pe okay so both ways you can access even you can access from an index or if you have given a name to that specific specific index it will take from that also 
and then again you have in another way you have to select multiple items in a numpy array again you can say that you want from 0 to say 2 okay so 0 1 2 okay so 2 to nahi lega because wo 2 wahan pe mention kiya to 0 1 so it will print a and b only okay 0 and 1 because it is given to similarly if i make change over here i make it 3 it will take 3 okay now or even in the same case if you want from a, a perspective of your index just mention the two index to b or c jo hai b ka of minus 14 hai c ka 17 hai it will try to take from that perspective okay now if you want to assign something to that to this value so for example agar mujhe randomly assign karna hai to main first uh, just i'll give array on first wahan pe main jaise jahan pe mera minus 14 tha Okay, second part mein, I was having minus 14 over here after 12. I want to make it 1. So directly just put it over here 0. Ya fir 1. So automatically wo 0 le rega. So basically, once you run on the first part, it will take 0. Same goes for the B. If you want to put 1, B pe wo 0 ke jaga 1 ho jayega again. Okay, and it keeps going on. Okay, now defining a series from a numpy array to other series. So basically it is from coming from an array. Jaha pe aap ek array ko series mein convert kar sakte ho. Okay, and you will see some beautiful aspect over here. हम उसका यहाँ पे हम क्या कर रहे थे? हम series पे changes कर रहे थे, तो ये ये mutable हो रहा था. मतलब it was getting changed. अब यहाँ पे हम क्या करेंगे? We'll see that we are do we are making a array. Okay, using numpy. तो मैंने क्या कहा था? Pandas numpy के ऊपर बना है. Okay, so मैं array declare करूँगा numpy में उस array को मैं upload करूँगा और से I can fetch it on the uh, series using pandas but I will make changes on my array and that will automatically get reflected without running on my series okay so let's check out how it, how it is going we're defining an array over here okay one two three four I'm putting that array okay inside my pd dot series okay which is again as nd array nd array with shape of four because I have declared one two three four okay and if i say select this it is a series okay which has series with shape 4 i run this i get this data aligned over here as a series okay so 0 1 2 3 now i want to uh, i over here come and change in array so array kya hai mera numpy numerical array hai main numpy ke kya pe minus 2 uh, 2 pe i am trying to change so 0 1 2 3 ke jagah pe main minus 2 karna chahta hu I'm making changes this on array it got changes okay or also see if you see I made changes or my s3 ko call kar raha hon. if say for example I just run over here okay I just run over here okay ye changes ho gai, okay and then I'm calling s3 see I made it changes in array and I'm calling s3 it will automatically get changed over here so this is the beauty of your uh, pandas and the concept why pandas is made upon numpy okay if you want to do filtering values as greater than 8 the value automatically it will take 12 and 9 based on that okay so s jo uh, basic s hai hamara upar jo sabse s wala tha ye isme agar 8 se bada kaun sa hai so these are two 12 and 9 so it will show 12 and 9 okay you want to divide it you can also divide it using slash divide mathematical function log lena hai to np dot log on the series that is made in pandas okay so that you can take automatically you will get np dot log okay based on that you will try to evaluate values okay evaluating values okay so you create a series which starts on say 1 0 2 1 2 3 okay now it's my repetitions bots are in if you check okay so you, you have one repeating one two repeating two and zero and three repeating ones okay so yeah you have multiple repetitions so basically you are giving an index pe first one ko apne white banana has zero ko white banana and so on so just run that for example you say have you have say 600 columns up 600 column ko manually to jake check nigger sakte so pandas kya karta hai you have evaluate dot unique to jitne unique hai aapke environment mein wo pura dikha dega yahan pe it will show you unique on the array so you say 1 uh, 0 2 3 this are the unique okay and if again you want to see ki 1 mein kitne hai 0 mein kitne hai inke value kya hai to you can just to e, e, uh, evaluate dot values underscore count so uska wo count bata dega so if you see let's cross check and validate yahan pe jo aayega 
टू में दो बार है दैट मीन्स टू इज ट्वाइस यस वन इज ट्वाइस यस थ्री इज वन जीरो इज वन एंड दिस इज ऑफ डेटा टाइप इंट सिक्सटी फोर ओके इफ आई वॉन्ट टू चेक इफ देर इज एनी एन ए लाइक कहीं पे कुछ मिसिंग है तो इट विल से फॉल्स अगर वो मिसिंग होगा तो वो ट्रू कर देगा तो ओवर इयर आई डोंट हैव एनी मिसिंग वैल्यूज सो वो चेक करके बता देगा ओके एंड देन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव सीरीज यूर वर्किंग ऑन सीरीज आई एम ट्राइंग टू पुट सम नैन वैल्यूज एंड लेट्स चेक हाउ इट वर्क ओके सो मैंने एक सीरीज बनाई जाए फाइव माइनस थ्री एन पी डॉट नैन दैट मीन्स नैन वैल्यू वो प्रिंट करेगा विच इज एम टी ओके एंड वी हैव से फोर्टीन एट द लास्ट सो इट इज गिविंग फ्लोट ओके Why float? Because हमने np dot nand डाला है जहाँ पे nand value आया है तो that is that becomes that changes from float uh, sorry from int to float okay now how how this goes is you will say is null okay कहीं पे कुछ null है तो वो आपको दिखाएगा तो s two dot is null will show you false false at point uh, at position number two you have true that means यहाँ पे null value है okay that shows Not null, अगर वाइसा वैसा करोगे नॉट नल तो वो वहां पे फॉल्स हो जाएगा बाकी सब जगह ट्रू हो जाएगा सो दिस होल थिंग एंड वाइसा वैसा सो आई रिटर्न द इज नल एंड द नॉट नल फंक्शन आर वेरी यूजफुल टू आइडेंटिफाई द इंडेक्सेस विदाउट अ वैल्यू ओके एंड नाउ अगेन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक दैट ये एग्जैक्टली कहाँ पे है तो वो आप क्या करोगे एस टू के अंदर आपने एक डेटा फ्रेम को बुला लिया है जहां पे आप चेक कर रहे हो इज इट नॉट नल और नॉट सो वन यू रन दिस यू विल सी कि यहाँ पे जो जो नॉट नल मतलब जिनके वैल्यूज हैं वो प्रिंट हो जाएंगे और वाइसा वर्सा उसी का अगेन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी इज नल कौन सा है एग्जैक्टली exactly? तो ये डेटा फ्रेम को डिक्लेयर किया आपने वो डेटा फ्रेम को उठाइए उसके अंदर वापस से वो डेटा फ्रेम को बुला के डॉट इज नल इट विल शो यू हाउ इट इज गोइंग सो वो दिखा देगा कौन से पोजिशन पे आपका नैन वैल्यूज है so by this you can do even pivotal tables ye sare pivotal tables honge which will give you a really good idea like it is almost intact like series of series of analysis done in just one line of minute line of code getting guys any doubts till now until we will be, be, begin on series as a dictionary under understood sir no sir understood okay, sir perfect I hope first years are understanding because this is something very new for you all. Do let me know. <coughs> okay, so we begin on series as dictionaries over here. So I will okay dictionaries again key value pair. So based on that I'll prepare a dictionary which is my sorry. Yes, anybody? Sorry, anybody? Okay, cool. so we have my dictionary okay my dictionary again shows it as uh, say i have assigned it a a value which is red of 2 2000 blue 1000 yellow 500 and orange is 1000 and then i will put that dictionary into a series okay so a series as a dictionary over here okay so that series come inside i'll run it will always make as a series over so dictionary ko series mein convert kar dega again If over if if here I see I want my index to be colors which is this colors so मैंने एक colors manually डाल दिया है okay colors को and my series one में मैंने उसको क्या किया my dictionary ये जो my dictionary है इसी को यहाँ पे बुला लिया है जहाँ पे मैं index दूँगा on the colors that means मेरा जो ये index है यहाँ पे तो मैंने एक-एक key value पे दिया इसको जैसे index के लिए लेकिन अगर मुझे index नहीं पता है तो मैं manually क्या करूँगा एक एक वेरिएबल डिक्लेयर कर दूंगा मैंने इंडेक्स पे कलर्स डाल दूंगा तो द सेम थिंग विल बी प्रिंटेड ओवर हियर इफ यू सी ओवर हियर यहां पे क्या है मैंने एक चीज बढ़ा दी है तो ऑटोमेटिकली उसने क्या किया है ले लिया है आई हैव सीन ग्रीन ओवर हियर यहां पे सिर्फ कहां था यहां पे ऑरेंज और ब्लू तक था ओके इट इट वाज हैविंग टिल हियर ओनली तो यहां पे उसने क्या किया है ग्रीन पे उसने डाल दिया है नैन वैल्यू ओके सो दिस इज हाउ योर योर ओवरऑल कंसोल्ड कंसोलिडेटेड कंसोलिडेटेड थिंग comes up it tries to run on the things usne match kiya blue hai orange hai yellow hai red hai kaun sa nahi hai green hai to usko nand dal diya ab nand dalne ka dekho pehle ye int 64 tha nand aane ke baad ye float 64 ho gaya okay so this is how it works and then you have operations between to operations mein kaise kar sakte ho aap you have say you are loading you can also do plus minus on the dictionary like series jab wo series mein aa gaya to it works like the same तो जहां पे क्या करेगा वहां पे आप 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 जब देख रहे हो माय सीरीज में जहां पे 
कुछ वैल्यूज नहीं है वहां पे नैन कर देगा और जहां पे वैल्यूज है वहां पे वो इंटैक्ट कंबाइन करके प्रिंट कर देगा यहाँ पे मैंने रेड को टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड दिया एंड अगेन यू हैव रेड यहाँ पे फोर हंड्रेड तो आप देखोगे रेड को कितना है यहाँ पे टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड तो ये सिर्फ उतना ही परफॉर्म करेगा ऑरेंज और ब्लू में तो वैल्यूज नहीं आ रहे हैं ओके okay? तो वो नहीं करेगा और यहाँ पे क्या है येल्लो येल्लो हैज थाउजेंड और यहाँ पे मेरे को क्या था येल्लो फाइव है तो वन तो आई गेट यन थाउजेंड बाकी सबको वो नैन कर देगा क्योंकि उसको वो कंडीशन uh, सेटिस्फाइड नहीं हुआ है सो बेसिकली सीरीज वर्क लाइक दिस okay so this this is all about series you can work you can make dictionary as a series you can make you can take your uh, <coughs> other other values which is like uh, which is uh, which is kind of uh, other other pro propositions into series and you can make it run you can use your list into you can list use your array into your uh, data frames or uh, sorry series okay so this is how you work and basically basically then the second part which which majorly all data scientists and data analytics uh, analytics person or an individual works is data frames so what is a data frame data frame is nothing data frame is a tabular structure very similar to your spreadsheets that you can say that it's a most familiar excel spreadsheet that is done on a programming level so basically on programming level you have this so <clears throat> how this goes uh, in a very intuitive idea in fact the data frame consists of an ordered collection of collections in which your different data types like num numeric strings boolean etc can be taken so if you see this is the this is the format wherein aapka index ek jagah land hoga aur ye aapke alag alag type of features honge like color objective price on the column perspective okay now let's take the same and print import pandas as pd numpy same i have taken jahan pe maine color ko define kiya hai color okay objective and price okay with, with with the help of this and that data which is having this collection or list you can say a series of this will be then transform into a frame using pd dot data frame so i'm trying to convert this as a data frame the so data frame is tabular structure so once you run let's try to run data usko de diya now this becomes tabular so if you see over here the same intact comes over here okay so it tabular format mein ho gaya now you can do anything with this i mean if you want to add you want to delete you want to you want to check for null values anything you are free to do with that so basically over here again we have say we are trying to put index jahan pe 1 0 2 hai wahan pe maine 1 2 3 numerical numeral ke jagah string kar diya hai so again 1 2 3 4 5 string aa gaya hai okay then For for an instance, we have say pandas as pd, we have numpy as np. Okay, we are trying to reshape. Just like we have seen in numpy, mein dekha. so we can try to reshape. Sixteen is the sixteen values are from zero to fifteen, so it starts from zero and fifteen will get uh, uh, reshaped into say four by four matrix. So we have four by four matrix over here, four year, four year. Okay, and I have given an index and columns. Four columns are given. So four 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 four columns are given. So कॉलम के कॉलम के नाम नहीं देखने हैं देन यू कैन पुट फ्रेम डॉट वैल्यूज एंड सिमिलरली इफ यू वांट टू जस्ट वांट टू कनेक्ट एंड जस्ट सी वन कॉलम सो देयर आर टू मेथड्स व्हिच इज फ्रेम विद दिस ब्रैकेट्स ओपन ब्रैकेट्स व्हिच इज व्हिच इज काइंड ऑफ अ इंडिकेशन दैट आई जस्ट वांट वन ये ऐसे में प्रिंट करें और एल्स इफ यू कैन यूज डायरेक्टली फ्रेम डॉट प्राइस सो बोथ विल बोथ विल गिव द सेम सेम रिजल्ट्स Uh, dual way of accessing uh, the pandas uh, pandas uh, why pandas uh, you are accessing your column okay and then if you want to again choose only uh, some selective from say it should start from 0 and end at 2 तो ये टू पे एंड है तो माइनस वन कर दो वन पे एंड हो जाएगा तो उतने ही कॉलम्स वो दिखाएगा उतने ही ऑब्जर्वेशंस दिखाएगा आपको ओके okay? and then at the last if you are just uh, just intact towards one wherein you just want to uh, get the desired block of data so basically aap usko de sakte ho ki object hona chahiye of third okay so basically paper which is 0 1 2 3 so 
तो ये ऑब्जेक्ट उसका क्या है बेस्ड ऑन दैट जो मेरा ऑब्जेक्ट है यहाँ पे पेपर का जो ऑब्जेक्ट है वो उठा के मुझे यहाँ पे प्रिंट कर देगा या भैया सो इट विल जस्ट प्रिंट पेपर विच इज फ्रेम ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द थर्ड पोजिशन सो इट विल चेक एंड गिव मी पेपर सेम इफ यू आई वॉन्ट टू असाइन वैल्यूज तो मैं क्या करूँ असाइनिंग वैल्यूज इज फ्रेम डॉट इंडेक्स विच इज इंडेक्स डॉट नेम इज गल टू आई डी तो नेम इंडेक्स का नेम आई डी बना देंगे हम लोग तो ये इधर आ जाएगा एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू फ्रेम कॉलम नेम एज आइटम तो आई आइटम नेम को कॉलम बना देंगे तो उस हिसाब से आपका फ्रेम डिसाइड हो जाएगा तो कलर ऑब्जेक्ट प्राइस कम्स ऑन द कॉलम परस्पेक्टिव एंड आपका जो आईडेंट इंडेक्स नेम है वो आपका आईडी के परस्पेक्टिव पे आ जाएगा तो यू विल जनरेट यूनिक आई डी ऑटोमेटिकली विच इज जीरो वन टू थ्री टिल एन नंबर्स so that's how you are assigning values and if you want to put something new like you can do this to simplify assigning a value to the instance of the data frame specifying a new column name at that point of time you can just take your frame you can give your new as a name and then you can assign a value as 12 so ye kya hoga constantly sab sare jitne aapke एलिमेंट्स uh, है उनको कंसिस्टेंटली एक इंस्टेंस पे बारह 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 अलॉट हो जाएगा सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेर यू कैन यूज दिस ओके दिस विल बी यूज ऑन द क्लस्टर्स वेर इन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव बोनस टू योर बोनस टू योर पर्सन लाइक इफ यू हैव से क्लस्टर ए क्लस्टर बी क्लस्टर सी यू डिसाइड दैट क्लस्टर ए को बोनस देना चाहिए फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज देर यू गो यू कैन यूज दिस एंड यू कैन असाइन मैनुअली इन द टेबल एंड देन यू कैन एक्सपोर्ट इट और सेव इट or you can write it to your external files okay so like this you can assign constant for all the observations and again if you want to assign manually also it is a normal process you can just put new with the column ye append ho jayega yahan pe aur automatically wo sare values le lega so let's run this so that we get a final output yahan pe bara okay you getting we just run this so we have say set of new okay price new over here acha ye run new hua new again again so getting new and price okay uh, then run this 12 Okay, is this this is new new one? Let's put it's new, and I'll put new one. Okay, so both it will try to print both. Yep. Yeah. So we can see like this. Mm -mm. New. This again. Oh, it has done multiple times. Okay, let's run this first. <clears throat> okay uh, i need to run the whole kernel again no worries okay so this is how you try to put in okay new one and uh, after that you take the membership value for example is in you want to try to see that ye do combination hai kya hamare andar like combination of two perspective which is say membership of a value if this membership of value is present in your frame i'll try to check which is like it will run based on that jahan pe ye value dikh jayega like one and pen is there totally that is true so you will check the check the perseverance over here wo print kar dega same is in or is in with this can also show the so frame frame dot is in aur baad mein hame agar exactly sare uh, sare values nan karne hai aur wo khali dikhne hai to usme kya karenge hum we will try to put a frame and in that frame we will put frame dot is in and then we'll put the whatever you have to check you have to run that so basic on that per 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 perseverance we have object we have price jahan pe intact hai aur baki sare ke sare nan dikh jayenge hume so this can again be a pivotal table you can put it into a into a variable and based on that you can work ab yahan pe mujhe delete karna hai so for example you see there is new and new so how do i delete so deleting a column i'll run delete frame From new, new so again new one हो गया. अगर यहाँ पे मैं न्यू वन डाल दूंगा अगेन डिलीट द सेम ऑन द सेकेंड राइट्रेशन माई न्यू वन हैज ऑल्सो गॉन फ्रॉम यूर सो दिस इज हाउ इजिली यू कैन डिलीट एनी फ्रेम ओके फ्रेम का एक स्पेसिफिक कॉलम को आप डिलीट कर सकते हो विद द नेम ओके एंड दिस इज हाउ यूर ऑल इंटैक्ट रन एनी डाउट गाइज स्टिल नाउ अंटिल वी गो टू नेस्टेड डिक्शनरी
ఒకేటా <coughs> Okay, uh, I'm getting a notification on people are waiting in the lobby. Please add them. Thank you. Yeah, so once we try to run the same, it will always take. Okay, so again, you have nested dictionaries intact towards each other. Then we have say frame two, which is say PD dot data frame where you have nested dictionary. So if you run it, then you will see the intact where you are changing a nested dictionary in the data frame. So this is what you are showing here. Here in frame 2, it will become a data frame and it will be seen like this. So you can see the changes that pandas can hold pandas can hold two types of different data frames. Okay, so you can see the changes that pandas can hold two types of different data frames. एक ही एक ही एक ही एस्पेक्ट के दो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स को लाइक पैटर्न्स को वो होल्ड कर सकता है जस्ट वन व्यर्थ इज इनटू अ सीरीज ऑन एस्टेट डिक्शनरी दैट आल्सो पांडास कैन होल्ड एंड देन यू कैन कन्वर्ट दैट इनटू डेटा फ्रेम दैट आल्सो इट कैन होल्ड ओके देन इफ यू वांट टू डू ट्रांसपोज इट इज जस्ट फ्रेम 2 डॉट टी कैपिटल टी इट विल डू ट्रांसपोज तो बेसिकली जो हमारा यहां पे है रेड है ये ऊपर जाएगा और नीचे जाएगा इट विल बिकम ट्रांसपोज ओके नाउ इंडेक्स ऑब्जेक्ट अगेन इंडेक्स वी हैव बीन कीपिंग तो इंडेक्स डॉट इंडेक्स डालोगे तो आपको इंडेक्स का जो जो है वो सारा दिख जाएगा विद द डेटा टाइप ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स बिकॉज़ दिस इज स्ट्रिंग ओवर हियर ओके सो वी आर रनिंग ऑन दिस इंडेक्स में डायरेक्टली आप एस आर ई डॉट इंडेक्स को कॉल करोगे तो सारा इंडेक्स दिखा देगा वो देन वॉट आर द मेथड ऑन इंडेक्स दैट यू विल यू कैन लर्न ओके सो मेथड ऑन इंडेक्स देर आर सम स्पेसिफिक मेथड फॉर इंडेक्स इंडेक्सेस अवेलेबल टू गेट सम इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई डी मिन एंड आई डी मैक्स आर द फंक्शन दैट रिटर्न द रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द लोएस्ट वैल्यू एंड मोर सो बेसिकली हमारा जो भी लोएस्ट वैल्यू रहेगा यहाँ पे किसका है ब्लू का सबसे लोएस्ट वैल्यू है जीरो and subse highest value is 8 okay that is of white to agar main usko khali index level pe hi karunga to s series dot id mein min to mujhe dikha dega blue to blue ka sabse lowest score hai and if i want the max score to series dot id max wo mujhe white dikha dega that is again showing me a max iteration okay so see you don't need to worry on the data perspective it is all showing you on the on on your aspect only with minimum minimum aspect ratio jahan pe wo automatically aapko sab dikha raha hai okay aapko bas ek ek one liner code fire karna hai based on that you will get max min and again you are it is checking on your numerical perspective numerical aspect and giving you on your string that is index perspective okay <coughs> now we'll see index with uh, duplicate labels so basically you have a series dimension that i have named range 6 hai iska 6 range mein hai jahan pe hum randomly isko white white blue blue green green denge so we are running this automatically wo le lega okay so white 0 0 0 ab isme white kitne hai so you can just put uh, series d okay series d of white it will show 0 and 1 series d of green it will show that it is on third and fourth and then if you want to see if there is any is unique to isme agar kuch unique hai to that's that's index index mein koi unique hai to nahi hai because you are see you are using white white blue green green hai kyunki ye repetitive hai to iske liye yahan pe false de raha hai aur agar frame level pe aap dekhoge usko when it comes on your data frame okay aap series level pe dekhoge to wo आपको सिमिलैरिटी नहीं देगा बट अगर आप फ्रेम लेवल पे उसको रन करोगे तो वो ट्रू दे देगा दैट मीन इट इज शोइंग दैट उसमें यूनिक वैल्यू है बिकॉज इट विल अंडरस्टैंड ये सीरीज लेवल पे तो लेवल पे हो जाएगा बट अब वो जब डेटा फ्रेम में जाएगा तो डेटा फ्रेम में इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली शो दैट इट इज ट्रू ओवर देर ओके so once you are done working on your index level there are functionality that can be implemented on index like we can do reindexing to aapka already ek process hai usme reindexing karna hai to reindexing process mein kuch nahi hota hai you just try to change the reindexing and there is another method which is dropping and another is alignment so basically we work in and around uh, around the nutshell on on the same thing okay 
so basically on on this part we get to know how you can change the index into some different aspect of index and so on okay so yahan pe agar hum dekhenge humne ek series load ki hai jahan pe humne index 1 2 3 4 diya it comes over here and then we are trying to reindex it reindex it kaise kar rahe hain main pehle 3 likh raha hu 4 likh raha hu 5 likh raha hu 1 likh raha hu to basically wo kya karega wo iske ratio ke hisab se change ho jayega jaise yahan pe maine 3 mein 7 likha to 7 upar aa gaya hai 4 niche aa gaya hai 5 mein nan hai mere paas aur yahan pe 2 ho gaya hai okay so this is how q5 kyunki yahan pe 5 hai nahi maine yahan pe 5 dala nahi hai to 5 ka koi value usko mila nahi but still it is taking 5 and putting it as nan over here okay this is how you do reindexing then you say you have another index you are taking and based on that aap ek cheez is idhar dhyan dijiye pd dot series mein maine 1 diya hai 5 diya hai 6 diya hai 3 diya hai to isme missing kya hai yahan pe mera jab ye element lega to index kya kar raha hai pehle 1 ko kya kiya 0 fir 3 fir 5 aur 6 okay aisa diya hai usne kyunki maine yahan pe index manually dala hai to what am i missing out over here is We are missing out one and two, three है, four miss कर रहे हैं, five six है, okay? So I'm missing out on one, two and four, okay? So अब इस चीज को हम लोग कैसे fill करेंगे? कभी-कभी आपके data में missing आ सकता है, तो अब उसको कैसे fill करोगे? On numerical aspect, either you go from some strategy or domain, otherwise अगर कुछ नहीं पता तो इसको आप लोग एक technique से use कर सकते हो, forward fill, क्योंकि ये sequential है, तो वो forward fill use करेगा, तो what we do is series three We try to reindex it, okay? Reindex करेंगे आप इसको, reindex करेंगे देखो already कितने कितने functionalities हैं वो आपको दिखने शुरू हो जाएंगे यहाँ पे just click on it, automatically it will take. And the beautiful part over is you can open it into a new tab, we can use source or again so on. Like what all the explanation is given over here, okay? Just on a click it is far. So आप क्या करोगे यहाँ पे method forward fill, f fill is forward fill. तो वो क्या करेगा? जीरो के बाद वन है वहां पे वन डाल देगा टेकिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इसी को फॉरवर्ड फिल करेगा फिर टू पे क्या है टू भी नहीं था टू को ऐड किया वो क्या करेगा वन का वैल्यू को फॉरवर्ड फिल करेगा फिर थ्री ऑलरेडी था फोर नहीं था मेरे पास फोर ऐड किया और फोर का जगह पे ऑलरेडी थर्ड का वैल्यू जो फाइव था वो फाइव डाल दिया एंड दैट सेट दिस इज योर फॉरवर्ड फिल तो बेसिकली जो प्रेजेंट एलिमेंट है जीरो पे उसी का उठाएगा और वो नेक्स्ट वैल्यू में फॉरवर्ड फिल कर देगा उसको So now, if you see, you have zero, one, two, three, four, five intact in a single aspect. Okay, single aspect pe intact hai wo. But now, if you have say forward fill, then back fill bhi hona chahiye. So back fill me kaise hoga? Same. You have to just do reindex, range on six method B fill. So ye kya karega? Back fill me kya karega? Jaise aapka yahan pe six hai, okay, five pe. So back fill me four pe six karega. Four pe five hai, to fir wo three pe five kar dega. Dekho three pe five. और फिर यहाँ पे वन पे क्या था यहाँ पे यहाँ पे थ्री पे क्या है फाइव है तो ये क्या करेगा बैक फिल तो थ्री पे फाइव है तो यहाँ पे फाइव डाल देगा टू पे फाइव है तो यहाँ पे फाइव डाल देगा फिर ये वहां पे क्या वन था वन को वो ऊपर कर देगा वन शिफ्ट तो दिस इज बैक फिलिंग तो आपको अगर असेंडिंग ऑर्डर से या डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर से बैक फिलिंग करना है तो असेंडिंग से एफ फिल विच इज फॉरवर्ड फिल एंड फ्रॉम ए डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर इट विल बी बैक फिल विच इज बी फिल ओके and then you have said dropping so dropping is another the operation that is in, conducted on your index object so basically you can drop you can use dropping as the as the core jaise aapka yahan pe apne index dal diya hai red yellow blue run kiya okay uh, you want to drop yellow to yahan pe aap directly uska yellow as an option de doge automatically wo drop kar dega yahan pe okay same you want to drop white and uh, blue and white in from this same you can just click on it एक और लेगा जहां पे वो येलो को मेंटेन कर रहा है अगेन एंड फ्रॉम दैट इट इज ड्रॉपिंग आउट व्हाइट एंड ब्लू ओके दिस इज हाउ योर ड्रॉपिंग फंक्शनलिटी वर्क्स ऑन योर एंडस एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ डेटा फ्रेम यू गेट यू कैन जस्ट अप्लाई लाइक दिस डायरेक्टली ड्रॉप करेंगे और ड्रॉप हो जाएगा और अगर आप इधर एक कॉमा डाल के इन प्लेस इज इक्वल टू ट्रू कर दोगे तो वो ऑन द स्पॉट उधर ही चेंज हो जाएगा लाइक यू से इन प्लेस ओके यू सी In place is equal to true, okay. So, but I will not run it, okay. So true, so it automatically either alter हो जाएगा. फिर वो क्या करेगा? जो data frame है, उसमें फिर वो पीछे भी, यहाँ पे भी है ना, वो दो ही हो जाएगा. It will be, it will change on a, on a, on a uh, continuous basis, okay. वो on the spot उधर ही change हो जाएगा. So, but we will not do in place because we are just making copies of it, okay. But अगर आपको intact उधर ही change करना है, just put comma and see. If you say in place false है by default. यहाँ पे इसका फंक्शन में इन 
इन प्लेस फॉल्स है तो ऑन द ऑन द गो वो सीरीज पे चेंज नहीं करेगा वो मेजर लिटिल वर्क ऑन द डेटा फ्रेम एनवायरमेंट ओके तो वी हैव अरिथमेटिक डेटा अलाइनमेंट सो फॉर एग्जांपल अगर यहां पे है 23451123124721 यहां पे वाइट येलो और थोड़ा एक एक्स्ट्रा है तो यहां पे कुछ नैन वैल्यूज आएंगे मुझे ऑन ब्राउन ओके ब्राउन पे आएगा ब्लैक पे आएगा बिकॉज़ ब्लैक इज नॉट हियर लेट्स रन इट ओके जब मैं इसको एग्रीगेट अरिथमेटिक में एग्रीगेट करूंगा तो s1 plus s2 में कंबाइन करूंगा तो वी स्टार्ट गेटिंग नैन वैल्यूज बिकॉज़ ब्लैक का वैल्यू प्रेजेंट नहीं है दोनों में you don't have brown value present we don't have green value present jinka jinka already existing hai automatically wo wahan pe dikh ja raha hai okay now we have same matrix when this comes on matrix way to matrix way mein aap kaise isko karoge so basically you are trying to put arrange 16 16 values ko aap arrange karoge 4 by 4 you are reshaping it in 4 by 4 matrix index mein aap red blue red de rahe ho कॉलम में आप बॉल पेन पेंसिल पेपर एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू विल बी ट्राइंग टू डू सेम विद से यहाँ पे 16 का है यहाँ पे 12 का है तो यहाँ पे क्या करेंगे 4 बाय 4 बनेगा या 3 बाय 3 बनेगा लेट्स रन दिस ओके यहाँ पे मैंने 4 बाय 3 दिया है और ये 4 बाय 4 दिया है सो दिस इज 4 बाय 4 ओके एस मेंशन एंड रीशिपिंग अदर इज 4 बाय 3 तो 4 बाय 3 के हिसाब से रन करेगा अब नाउ व्हाट आई डू इज आई ट्राई टू मर्ज देम तो जहां पे ये कॉमन फैक्टर्स होगा वहां पे वो क्यूमुलेटिव दिखा देगा बाकी सब जगह नैन दिखा देगा सो इफ यू सी पेंसिल इज डोमिनेटिंग आउट ओवर हियर फॉर ऑल द ऑब्जर्वेशंस तो यहां पे हम बोल सकते हैं कि अगर मैं ये डेटा फ्रेम लूंगा तो आई हैव एन नंबर ऑफ आई हैव मोर नंबर ऑफ नैन वैल्यूज सो दिस इज दिस इज कॉल्ड नैन वैल्यूज तो दैट इज नॉट गुड फॉर योर मॉडल बिल्डिंग ओके एंड देन इफ यू हैव सम ऑपरेशंस बिटवीन योर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स व्हिच इज add subtract divide multiply you can always use on double frames the same thing will be given ye jo hai directly yahan pe aap ek functionality level pe use kar sakte ho yahan pe frame 1 dot add frame 2 automatically it will give you the same results with more number of nan values so there are two alternative method either you take arithmetic or you take an operational process both the things do the same again over here Minus, if you want to do, you are putting a 16 by 16, and you are you are arranging a four four matrix with with uh, like single array four matrix over here. Or usko ap single uh, usko 16 16 uh, uh, shapes ke reshape four by four ke matrix se usko mal, ma, minus karne wale ho. So then you have frame minus SR. If you see, automatically your conclusion will be running. This is how intact it runs in a very proper way. Okay. so this is how you are combining your data say data 1 data 2 aap agar x1 x2 x1 x3 okay so yahan pe x2 aur x3 different hai so based on that aap isko kaise kar sakte ho you can do setting and resetting of index this data yahan pe kya karoge merge kar rahe ho to so, merge karoge kahan data 1 and data 2 ko data 1 and data 2 how it is sql join so, if you remember the sql join left join right join inner join outer join to same ye concept yahan pe aa gaya it is coming under combi combining of data तो जब आप यहाँ पे लेफ्ट डालोगे तो योर ऑब्जर्वेशन विल सी आप कॉमन 12 में ले लोगे तो x इज लाइक x2 टू इज योर लेफ्ट दैट विल बी टेकन इनटू कंसिडरेशन और बाकी सब नैन हो जाएगा ओके इफ यू डू फ्रॉम द राइट पर्सपेक्टिव अगेन योर दिस विल बी टेकन और यहाँ पे ये नैन हो जाएगा ओके एंड अगेन इफ यू आर टेकिंग फ्रॉम अ परस्पेक्टिव वेर यू आर डूइंग इनर ज्वाइन तो ये बेसिकली जितने कॉमन है वो उठा लेगा उसमें से यार इनर ज्वाइन कर देगा एंड देन वेन यूर गोइंग आउटर ज्वाइन यूर कंसिडरिंग ऑल ऑन दैट सेम एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट you are doing pd dot merge data 1 data 2 how on what perspective that's outer join and on what you have to do it is on x1 so basically x1 ka wo outer join uthayega aur wo it will it will show you okay and then if you want to do normal join which is data 1 dot join other method merge ke baad agar usko join karna hai there is like data 1 dot join okay and you'll get data 2 okay on join on what data 2 how right way aur agar aap on karoge to on se x1 basically jo bhi agar x1 dena hai ya kaun sa bhi uh, element ya aapko koi bhi column ka naam dena wo aa jayega same is duplicate data so duplicate data mein kya karoge return unique values which we have seen okay and they say we do duplicate type that will check for duplicates okay yahan pe duplicate चेक करेगा टाइप का इफ यू वांट टू ड्रॉप डुप्लीकेट यू हैव टू जस्ट टू डेटा फ्रेम टू डॉट ड्रॉप अंडर ड्रॉप अंडर स्कोर डुप्लीकेट टाइप ओके टाइप का कीप लास्ट सो बेसिकली इट विल ड्रॉप ऑल द डुप्लीकेट्स ओके 
जो लास्ट आपने प्रोसेस किया है एंड देन यू डू डी एफ डॉट इंडेक्स डी डुप्लीकेट चेक द इंडेक्स डुप्लीकेट जैसे आपको आपने वैल्यू तो निकाल दिया एक पर्टिकुलर टाइप का मतलब एक कॉलम नेम का बट क्या उसका इंडेक्स भी निकला है कि नहीं दैट ऑल्सो यू नीड टू चेक सो दैट वी दैट वे यू ट्राई टू चेक डुप्लीकेट डेटा सेम इट गोज विद ग्रुपिंग डेटा एंड मिसिंग डेटा ग्रुप बाई करोगे तो कभी भी आपको बाई वेरियट एनालिसिस करना है फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेटफ्लिक्स का डेटा है यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड की नेटफ्लिक्स आपके नेटफ्लिक्स में बहुत सारे जॉनर्स हैं ओके सो यू हैव मल्टीपल जॉनर्स वेर इन यू आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड की से साईफाई का मूवी भी हो सकता है और साईफाई का वेब सीरीज भी हो सकता है ओके यू कैन अगेन कम दैट रोमांस 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 का एक टीवी सीरियल भी हो सकता है एंड देर कुड बी इवन अ मूवी आल्सो। सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट इट विल कीप अलाइंड अलाइंड ऑन द शेप ओके तो ग्रुप बाय करोगे तो एक क्लस्टर इधर दिखेगा एक क्लस्टर उधर दिखेगा एंड ऑन द सेम थिंग इफ यू डू डॉट सम इट विल डू क्यूमुलेटिव कैलकुलेशन एंड देन यू कैन ग्रुप बाय इट ओके तो दिस इज हाउ योर एग्रीगेशन वर्क ऑन ग्रुपिंग सो ग्रुप बाय करोगे तो वहां पे आपका ग्रुप बाय बेस्ड ऑन डेटा एंड योर टाइप और उसका हम मीन निकाल लेंगे ओके दिस इज हाउ इट वर्क सेकेंड अगेन यू हैव से ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो आपको अगर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन करना है तो यू हैव कस्टम सम दैट टेक्स लैमडा एंड अगेन यू कैन यूज यू कैन यूज एक्स प्लस इंटू एक्स इंटू टू सो बेसिकली वो एक्स लेवल पे वो क्या करेगा एक्स का वैल्यू लेगा प्लस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू on the same go in one line it will give execution so this is how your customized sum works okay and then again you are you can do your group by on level 0 which will transform the whole data so this is this is not part what i'm teaching this this is not part of the proposed but still it's really useful that i usually use in industry that is the reason i'm trying to put it i've brought, brought a snapshot of it from the documentation that uh, we usually keep maintaining for our references okay and there is also one beautiful um, beautiful function which is called melt okay so it's not a silk or an ice cream that melts but you can also melt a data frame or you can melt a whole series using pandas data frames okay so so basically how does that go we try to gather information into rows we try to improve or say do dummy dummy uh, dummy variable trap ko help karne ke liye hum karna chahte hain so wahan pe hum kya karenge we say pdf dot melt data frame to we have say id uh, id variables date jo ki yahan pe date hai we have another value which is type and again we have third that's an observational value okay so based on that what i'll do is value name third me change karenge hum log so basically i have date value and type and value which is over here and based on that i am trying to remove this value okay and club it with type so basically ye type hai type value hai jo jo do column hai that becomes as a variable aur variable mein type aur value do type ke niche aa jayenge like this and then all the other values jo iska value hai jaise type ka value a hai that's an observation type b is an observation type c type a multiple times and value of that is again it will replicate that and try to melt so basically agar aapko aapka data engineering aur acha karna hai you have to increase the data size you can use dot melt okay it is really very awesome so you can gather you can gather columns into rows like you can aapka rows ko columns mein divide kar sakte ho dot melt okay <clears throat> any questions till now because we are on the last part we will see how do we load data from different aspects okay any any routes till now guys no yes, sir sab kuch samajh raha hai sabko yes sir yes sir yes sir great great good okay so let's touch base on the last part which is pandas reading and writing data so we are more focused on understanding like this part comes from an external like i am taking a, i am taking an external data from a csv or say json or say html and trying to run it so basically it's an it's nothing but it's part of very important for data analysis and therefore specific tool for this purpose must be present in the library pandas to set a function uh, like functions called input output api okay so input output mein kaisa readers hai so if you want to read a csv folder it is read underscore csv you want to again write down to a csv then it is to 
just put two csv till right same goes for excel hdf this is hadoop distributed system okay uh, sql may be up same kar sakte ho json may be kar sakte ho html sata sata is again a different uh, data type clipboard pickle pickle is uh, pickle is when you run a model आप एक मॉडल का वैल्यू बना देते हो तो उसको डॉट लाइक uh, like, जैसे होता है ना एक मॉडल को सेव करके रखा है फॉर रेफरेंस ऑफ से टेन अदर मॉडल्स तो वहां पे आप डॉट पिकल में उसको सेव कर सकते हो सो so, पिकल खाने वाला पिकल नहीं है दैट इज अ पिकल दैट सेव द मॉडल होल ओवर मॉडल ओके सो रीड डॉट मैसेज पैक अगेन इट इज एक्सपेर दिस इज स्टिल इन एक्सपेरिमेंट फेज एंड जी बी क्यू इज लाइक डिरेक्टली लोडिंग द होल जो आपका होता है ना एक एस डी कार्ड को डायरेक्टली लोड कर सकता है सो दैट इज जी बी क्यू ओके <coughs> Moving on, I have a, a content over here. If you see, मैंने कुछ load किया था. This is, which is अरे भाग गया. Yeah. So we have say my CSV underscore one, which is over here. So my CSV underscore one, which is over here. इसका path मुझे यहाँ से copy करके मिल जाएगा. Copy path and I can paste, which is slash content. Okay. If it's uh, which will run. So again, numpy as np current origin of our data analytics. and then we do pd dot read pd underscore read csv because i am reading a dot extension csv which is comma separated values okay i'm running it i get a whole data that has been run okay same over here if i want to run with a different approach jahan pe mujhe usko comma se separate karna hai usko bata raha hu main ki boss isko tu comma se separate kar to wo in that case also it will run the same way okay But yeah, we are taking a table over here. Okay, so read table and read CSV. Both ways you can run this. So you can take dot read CSV, or if you are giving a table, then directly say it. Comma, okay, all this separate. So it will do the same thing. Okay. Uh, again, over here, if you have, we 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 are loading uh, chapter number five, say second uh, CSV, chapter five, second CSV over here. Okay. So this is one five three cat. Okay, its header is not here. तो बेसिकली यहाँ पे इसको रन करेंगे और अगर मुझे बाय डिफॉल्ट हेडर रन करना है तो यार जस्ट पुट हेडर रन ये ऑटोमेटिकली हेडर रन हो जाएगा द सेम फाइल लोडिंग विथ हेडर रन तो क्या होगा ये देखो कैट यहाँ पे हेडर बन गया है ओके तो फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन बिकम्स हेडर ओवर ईयर तो दैट विल बी अवॉइडेड ओवर ईयर और अगर मैंने हेडर रन डाल दिया तो क्या करेगा वो एक यूनिक नंबर ले लेगा ले सारे इसको और ये कैट को एज अ ऑब्जर्वेशन बना देगा दिस इज हाउ यू स्केल फ्रॉम अप एंड डाउन बेस्ड ऑन दिस okay now <clears throat> moving ahead again if you want to give manual names okay to aap kya kar sakte ho load karo side mein ek parameter de do names and with the size of that array or the say data frame you can give your names also so just run that you get your names intact so aap manual names bhi de sakte ho already agar aapke data set mein hai then do it is not an issue it will automatically take but you can also load okay now This is all about CSV. The same way you can load about Excel files also. This may कुछ नहीं है. Read underscore Excel हो जाएगा बस CSV के जगह. Now we have a plain text. So if you say we have a plain text over here, इसके अंदर there there is some 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 content. Okay, that we will try to learn. So इसको क्या करेंगे? Text file, basic Python. Open with the file path, and we are doing a read operation. And what we will do? Lines में हम क्या करेंगे? Text underscore file dot read, and we'll print the lines. so by this method we can also load a textual data and it is intact like just how uh, the way it is written in the file the same it will print over here okay and if you want to load json again json we have said train dot json so we have train dot json over here we have given the path we'll just run automatically wo meko sara detail with the key value pair id and the value name and the value salary and the value aapko json format mein de dega okay Now this is another another part is HTML files. So basically HTML files again. Please make a note. First years, second year, third years, and also MSc IT people. There is dedicated position in uh, in in industry which is I can say basically Kotak Mahindra uh, hires a lot of such people who just uh, just do web scraping. So I will tell you where. Let's take from a use case perspective. So, for example, I have competitors of e-commerce. One is Amazon, and another is, uh, say, Flipkart. Okay. Uh, can uh, so basically, if I say that uh, I declare, I start declare that I am bringing a sale, a biggest sale. Okay. 
तो वो बिगेस्ट सेल जो मैं ला रहा हूँ ऑन एमेजॉन इज फ्रॉम से ये डेट से ये डेट तक ओके सो बेसिकली अगर मेरे को वो करना है तो देर वुड बी सम इंजीनियर्स ओके लेट मी कम हो भैया या there would be some engineers who will do manual interventions and go and put some some they write some script wherein the uh, uh, based on that time stamp ye date ka ye time 12 baje to automatically ye sale start ho jana chahiye aur in inka inka jo kya bolte hain the amount of uh, value should be changed okay that amount of value should get changed apparently तो जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल फिफ्टी परसेंट है सौ रुपए की चीज है तो ये टाइम स्टैम्प जैसे ही हटेगा और टाइम स्टैम्प चेक करके ये ऑटोमेटिकली स्क्रिप्ट रन होगी जहां पे सौ रुपए की चीज पचास हो जाएगी तो ये चीज अगर फ्लिपकार्ट को जानना है कि यू यू कैन सी ना कि अगर आपने यू वुड हैव इमेजिन दिस की देर आर सम इंटेलिजेंस सिस्टम की इफ यू गो इफ यू हैव से बोथ द एप इन योर फोन यू गो ऑन एमेजॉन एंड यू सर्च That I need a bean bag of हंड्रेड रुपीज ओके सो वो टू हंड्रेड का है और हंड्रेड में है यहाँ पे देन यूर प्लांट अपेरेंटली जस्ट मोमेंट आपको गूगल ना फ्लिपकार्ट रिकमेंड करेगा कि द सेम थिंग आई हैव बॉट लाइक एन एड इट विल बी शोन ऑन योर स्क्रीन दैट वी हैव अ बीन बैग इन हंड्रेड रुपीज नाउ वॉट यूर डूइंग विद दैट इंटेलिजेंस ऑफ स्क्रेपिंग ओके यूर स्क्रेपिंग द यूर कंटिन्यूसली रनिंग अ स्क्रेपिंग टेक जहाँ पे वो इन साइड एक ऑटोमेटेड टूल है जहां से वो ऑटोमेटिकली सारे वैल्यूज को उठा लेगा एंड यू जस्ट पुट इट इन द पाइप लाइन ऑटोमेटिकली आपके वेबसाइट पे बेस्ड ऑन डैट Amazon का वैल्यू ये ये यहाँ पे आके चेंज होना शुरू हो जाएगा सो दिस इज हाउ योर एच टी एम एल इज डन एंड दिस इज द वे वेर इन दे ट्राई टू स्क्रेप ओके आई रिपीट दे ट्राई टू स्क्रेप एच टी एम एल फाइल्स एंड देर आर डेडिकेटेड पोजिशन ऑफ स्क्रेपर्स ओके वेब स्क्रेपर्स दैट वर्क विद डेटा साइंस टीम्स तो उन लोग क्या करते हैं देर इज अ ब्यूटिफुल लाइब्रेरी कॉल यू आर एल लाइब्रेरी ओके यू आर एल लिव ओके जस्ट जस्ट अ सेकेंड गाइज होल्ड sorry guys i got a unavoidable call really sorry so uh, beautiful library uh, so this is a beautiful library which is url library dot request which tries to request content on your html files and then we give a specified url which is wiki and it is giving a uh, you try to put so i have taken a wiki space of list of state and union territories in capital of india so agar uh, if you go and hit this page let's let's try to check okay Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. This has taken the whole. So, how do we get to know what is happening on someone's website and what are the contents that are getting updated on the timestamp perspective? That we can go. So, if you look at this, this is a wiki space that the Wikipedia has maintained. It has a lot of values. Hai, okay. So, I want. I will try to scrape all the data that is present over here with few lines of code. Okay. So. विकी में मैंने लिंक दे दिया है वेबसाइट एंड रिटर्न दिएबल पेज तो पेज में मैंने क्या किया है आई टेक इन यू आर एल लिप डॉट रिक्वेस्ट डॉट यू आर एल ओपन ऑन द विकी पार्ट तो यू आर एल ओपन ऑन द विकी पार्ट एंड देन आई हैव दिस ब्यूटिफुल सूप विच इज नोन एज बी एस फोर वर्जन ओके ब्यूटिफुल सूप दैट विल पार्स ऑल द पेज सारे पेज को वो पार्स करेगा So it will take each and every like all the tag that is mentioned over here. It will try to fetch details from there and it will try to enhance and put it forward. So basically, from BS for import beautiful soup, so uh, soup will be will be parsing on the beautiful soup over the page. So basically, soup is equal to beautiful soup on the page that is been loaded over here, which has a URL. It will try to run. and then it will try to print so there is a beautify beautify karke ek structure hai which is a nested structure of html so jo uska code hai backend ka code na wo pura backend ka code so for if you see over here yahan pe doc type html ye pura jo uska html page hai wo usko beautify karke nested structure mein print kar dega okay so if you if you see people people try to scrape and take informations from here so within within some fraction of second it has loaded all the all the 
source if you see this is this is the whole source okay if you see this is the whole source pura website log ne scrape karke nikal liya so from here you can even get say links to the different aspects iske class spam sare tag man it it has given a good nested like okay, if you if you see this is coming in a very good nested jaisa ka jaisa wahan se utha liya usne okay ab isme se kya hai this is a built big bug okay so there are some function uh, functions that and, and and arguments that have been taken like uh, print soup dot title kar doge to automatically wo title ka jo exact hai end to end title tag hai wo utha lega so title tag mein kya hai list of states and union but again i want to clean it more so soup dot title dot string to so if you string utha ke mere ko batayega usme se okay so this is one way second way if you want to find all the tables that are present in your सिस्टम ओके आपके पूरे सिस्टम में प्रेजेंट है तो दैट दैट टेबल विल बी टेकन सो व्हाट विल डू इज जितने टेबल करके लिखे होंगे ना सब इसमें आ जाएगा सो इट हाउ इट गोज इज फाइंड ऑल द टेबल्स एट ऑल टेबल्स सूप डॉट फाइंड ऑल सो फाइंड ऑल मतलब जितने हैं सारे विद द वर्ड टेबल जो भी है सब दैट विल गेट प्रिंटेड सो वंस वी रन दिस इट विल शो ऑल द टेबल्स जितने टेबल्स है देखो टेबल क्लास टेबल क्लास व्हाटएवर इट इज देयर इट विल ट्राई टू try to run okay so sare jo tables hai wo pure yahan pe ye run karna shuru kar dega similarly if you want to get specific find specific like uh, you, you got all the list of table and you want to get right table so you can use a class kyunki table mein ek class attribute hota hai okay that will help to so, jaise class wiki table sortable plain uh, plain row headers okay so that i'm uh, loading it into find पहले मैं फाइंड ऑल था दैट मींस एक वर्ड जहां कहीं भी वो आया है पूरे टेबल में वो सब कुछ उठा लो उसको ओके दैट इज फाइंड ऑल बट ओवर हियर व्हाट वी डू इज वी ट्राई टू ग्रुप इट फ्रॉम ट्राई टू फाइंड द राइट टेबल फ्रॉम अ क्लास पर्सपेक्टिव क्लास नेम दैट इज विकी टेबल सॉर्टेबल प्लेन रो हेडर्स एंड वी ट्राई टू प्रिंट इट तो आप देखोगे तो स्पेसिफाइड स्पेसिफिक वही आ जाएगा दैट यू कैन सी अगर ताला ओवर हियर दिस कम लखनऊ ओके यू कैन सी कोलकाता लाइक दैट this is how your web scraping works and this is automated once you automate this sorry okay any issues no no worries so this is how you automate you try to automate okay last part is uh, last or like, this is a part wherein you try to run an image you try to get an image or load an image so hum log now there are two techniques there one is open uh, open cv okay that is the highest part but people don't know that even matplotlib has got this ability to load okay the matplotlib is a visualization perspective jo jisme ek functionality hai which is mp img which is my pixel image okay that using that also you use a functionality of im read and you can pick up that uh, photo and you can print as it is in the system so import matplotlib dot image under image it has a functionality which is mp dot image uske andar im read hai jo wo image ko read karega from pixel point of view which is my pixel image okay and then once you have to show you have matplotlib dot pyplot as plt jisme wo matplotlib python plot banayega और उसको एज अलाइस नेम पीएलटी रखा है उसके हिसाब से उसको आई एम शो करेगा दैट मीन्स वॉट एवर इमेज इज ओवर लोडेड ओवर दैट विल बी शोन लेट्स ट्राई टू दिस डॉग डॉग डॉट जेपेग इज लोडेड ओवर डॉग डॉट जेपेग ओके ट्राई टू रन ओके so this is over here or um, there is one more thing that is coming in run there is an all one more pill pill karke ek library hai which will tell you ki ye आर जी बी कलर का है कि नहीं या फिर इट इज इट इज इट इज इट इज जेपेग इमेज ओके जेपेग जेपी जेपी जी इमेज है या फिर जे या फिर दूसरा वैसा ना जेपीई जी इमेज है या फिर ये ए पी एन जी इमेज है सो दैट ऑल्सो इट गिफ्ट ओके सो इट डिपेंड्स लाइक वट वट काइंड ऑफ यूज केस यूर यूजिंग सो दिस इज पी आई एल पिल ओके पिल एक लाइब्रेरी है दैट विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो बेसिकली आई वॉट वी सी इज पीपल इमेज दिख गया भाग जाओ सीधे को कंप्यूटर विजन ओपन सी वी ये सब में बट नो यू नीड टू हैव समिस की कुछ इमेजेस को लोड करने के लिए या फिर डायनामिक प्रोसेस नहीं रखना है तो यू कैन वर्क ऑन दिस ऑल्सो ओके ओके नाउ वी वी विल सी डेटा प्रिपरेशंस ओके डेटा डेटा प्रिपरेशंस में हम मर्जिन कॉन्टैक्ट जॉइन अपेंड जो हम लोग ऑलरेडी देखते आ रहे हैं सो बेसिकली इट इज रैंडम टेन इन 
टेन 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 इंटू फोर ओके रैंडम टेन इंटू फोर वो करेगा तो टेन रोज टेन रोज एंड फोर कॉलम्स का उसने बना दिया है मेरे पास ये वी ट्राई टू डू सम पीसेज ओके सो यहाँ पे क्या करेगा सारे रोज ऑफ फर्स्ट थ्री ओके ऑल द ऑल द रोज ऑफ फर्स्ट थ्री ओके यहाँ पे सारे ये लेगा और फर्स्ट थ्री यहाँ पे कर दिया है दूसरा डी एफ थ्री से सेवन तो थ्री से स्टार्ट करेगा और सिक्स तक प्रिंट करेगा और सेवन टू ऑल तो सेवन से नीचे ये तीनों डिफ्रेंशिएट कर दिया है नाउ वट आई डू इज आई ट्राई टू अगेन मेक इट लाइक दिस डूइंग पी डी डॉट कॉन कैटिनेट पीसेस जो पीसेस मैंने बनाया है इसके अंदर एक पीस के अंदर तीन डेटा फ्रेम्स है उनको वो ऑटोमेटिकली पीस कर देगा तो वंस वी कॉन कैटिनेट इट ऑटोमेटिकली बी डन ओके लेट्स रन दिस रैंडमली हम लोग ने उठाया है बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी आर ड्राइंग टू डू पीसेस यहाँ पे पहला तीन उठाएगा फिर बीच के तीन से सात उठाएगा सात से आगे उठाएगा एंड देन concatenate so this is how your concatenation works so if you see your concatenation is done already okay now you have say joins joins is again a very important factor whenever you have to say, do left right jisse bhi aapka joining hota hai based on that so you are printing a key value pair over here okay key value pair on left and right okay and then you are merging left on right on what key okay to aapka key hai key ke basis pe common cheez hai because ye l value aur r value hai yahan pe to basically the the primary aspect over here is this key so based on that you are running so let's run that join okay this is your left this is your right this is your pd dot merge on key so basically ya pura run kar dega so if you see foo 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 you have all the r l values and r r values intact towards it okay last part over here is append wherein you will say pd dot data frame which is np dot random random dot rand n which will go from 8 to 8 yahan pe aayenge aur four columns ban jayenge four columns ka name bhi humne de diya hai sath mein as a additional parameter which is a b c d and you run it so hum usko append karne ka sochenge so let's let's take okay एंड बाद में हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे वी आर टेकिंग दी आई एथ लोकेशन लोकेशन ऑफ थर्ड ओवर सो बेसिकली क्या है यहाँ पे थर्ड लोकेशन है ना ये मैं उठा रहा हूँ यहाँ पे ओके सो वंस आई एम रनिंग दिस लेट मी रन यू विल गेट द सेम ओके टू पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स फाइव टू जीरो पॉइंट ये एक माइनस है ओके तो ये पूरा थर्ड कॉलम है जो डी एफ डॉट आई लॉक थ्री सो इंडेक्स वैल्यू का आई लॉक थ्री का ये पूरा उठा लेगा और यहाँ पे आपको ये इस ऑर्डर में पेश कर देगा ये जो ये मैंने डाल दिया एस में ओके एंड दिस इज इन डी एफ आई वॉन्ट टू अपेंड तो मैं क्या डी एफ डॉट अपेंड एस तो डी एफ के अंदर उसको एस को अपेंड करो इग्नोर इंडेक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्रू क्योंकि अगर इंडेक्स मैंने देख लिया तो ये थर्ड इंडेक्स का है तो ये कॉपी ये एरर फेंक देगा तो मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ इग्नोर इंडेक्स को ट्रू कर देता हूँ ऑटोमेटिकली वो क्या करेगा यहाँ पे देखो सेवन तक था ओके सेवन के बाद ऑटोमेटिकली वो क्या करेगा सेम वैल्यू को उठाएगा ओके टू सेवन सिक्स नाइन जो थर्ड है वही यहाँ पे एथ वैल्यू पे आ जाएगा सो दिस इज डेटा डुप्लीकेटिंग अगर आपको मैंने कहा ना कभी क्योंकि आपका कोई डेटा इंजीनियर होता है जिसको डेटा कुक करना पड़ता है ही कैन यूज दिस मेथड ही कैन यूज मल्टीपल ट्रैम्प एंड जैसे आपके पास सौ डेटा है सौ को वो हजार बना सकता है बाई यूजिंग दिस टेक्निक यू कैन स्लाइस फ्रॉम एनी वेयर ओके नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज कंसिडरिंग Removing of duplicates, which is probably guess the last part of pandas. Okay, so removing uh, duplicates is considered as data set containing say any uh, remains rating. So say basically brand type and rating is being given. Let's run this. We are building a data frame. It's all intact. Okay. Now, मुझे इसको देखना है drop duplicates. So if you see, you have some duplicates over here. ये दो बार आ गया है. और यहाँ पे दो बार आ गया तो अगर ड्रॉप ड्रॉप अंडर स्कोर डुप्लीकेट्स कर दूंगा तो वो डुप्लीकेट्स निकल जाएंगे यहाँ पे ओके सो इफ इस यम यम विच इज हैविंग ऑल 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 द पैक अराउंड सेम फोर फोर कप कप यम यम दैट इज कॉट जस्ट वन एंड अगर देखोगे उसका इंडेक्स भी निकल चुका है लाइक यू हैव जस्ट डायरेक्टली टू ओवर ईयर सो दैट इज हाउ यूर ड्रॉप डुप्लीकेट्स वर्क एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट इफ यू हैव से डी एफ डॉट डुप्लीकेट सबसेट मेक इट एस बेस्ड ऑन ब्रांड तो ब्रांड में अगर देखोगे तो दो ही है बिकॉज दिस थ्री है कीप दिस This is coming same. तो मैंने क्या किया सबसेट बना दिया है बेस्ड ऑन ब्रांड ड्रॉप डुप्लीकेट्स तो ये क्या करेगा दो ही ब्रांड के चीजें रखेगा एंड इट विल गिव यू ओके सो बेसिकली द टॉप ऑर्डर जो है यहाँ पे ये और ये यही रखेगा बाकी सब उड़ा देगा ओके इट डिपेंड्स लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन एनी यूज केस विच विल गिव यू सच काइंड ऑफ इल्यूजन इन दैट केस यू कैन डू दिस ओके नेक्स्ट इज हाउ डू यू रिमूव डुप्लीकेट्स एंड कीप तो डी एफ डॉट ड्रॉप डुप्लीकेट्स 
subset on two factors you are using now brand and size and you keep the last okay what is this to remove duplicates and keep last occurrence you keep so basically keep me last occurrence jo uska hai wo hame rakhna hai so basically last wala bhale hi ye duplicate hai lekin iska last occurrence mujhe rakhna hai based on that i'll run तो वो कॉमन निकालेगा उसमें ड्रॉप डुप्लीकेट करेगा और लास्ट अक्रेंस जो है वो लास्ट वैल्यू को मेंटेन रखेगा वहां पे दैट्स ऑल अबाउट रिमूविंग सो दिस आर द मेजर ऑपरेशंस दैट वी यूज ऑन पैंडाज ऑन डे टू डे लाइफ एनी डेटा इंजीनियर और डेटा साइंटिस्ट और डेटा एनालिटिक्स वर्क ऑन दिस परस्पेक्टिव फॉर डेटा क्लीनिंग मैनिपुलेटिंग एंड एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा सो गाइज वी आर डन विद टू लाइब्रेरीज टेकन लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम आई फील I think in more than like almost 45 minutes more. I'm really sorry for that. Okay, any questions, guys? <clears throat> I hope I, I haven't made. No, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. That's nice. Okay, guys. So we'll do one thing. We have we'll we'll uh, as per the plan. I was planning to take math plot level so today, but okay, that that's absolutely fine. But based on the schedule that. Um, i was thinking uh, we have covered on numbai and pandas we have just related to matplotlib which we will be taking we'll take it tomorrow because i mean uh, i understand i'm already uh, ahead uh, running i've taken it in detail so that's the reason uh, i've taken 45 minutes more so we'll we'll cover up tomorrow but as per the schedule that was shared ahead we are we are done for today so we have covered numbai pandas any queries you have you can ask me any time we have the whatsapp group i'll share the link over there and also i'll share you some important links from where you can again go and like i'll do it with the course of time by today on itself and if you have any issues i mean do drop questions over there do drop your questions uh, directly ping out the questions over there okay uh, and surely answer each and every questions does that does that make sense guys yes yes sir, sure sir. okay fine so i I start my video now. I'm really uh, thank thank you so much for listening. Uh, totally intact and without no disturbance. I really appreciate I appreciate the efforts of listening people. Thank you so much, and I hope I would have done justice with your time. Do let me know about your feedbacks. Fine, ma'am. Sadhna, ma'am. Over to you. Over to you, Sanalika. Sonalika are you there? Yes ma'am. Yeah, oh okay. Is there anyone who would like to express their views? I'm pretty much sure everybody would have been sleeping. I made everyone sleep. No sir, you were really. Okay. Uh, I tell you honestly, I'll tell you honestly that there is hell lot of things that I wanted to put, but again, time constraint is something because I am ready to even teach Matplotlib. If you are okay to sit, I can continue Matplotlib now also. I don't have any issues. I'm always open. I have the content ready. I can show also. So I I I always say, say make a habit, run one day ahead of your schedule. Always, you will be always successful. So if you are ready, I don't have any issues. I can teach you. <clears throat> okay. okay uh, Savant went left the conversation. <laughs> okay, fine, no worries. Yeah, yeah, so Sanalika, over to you. Yeah. Don't you think data analytics is important because it helps business optimize their performances? company can use data analytics to make better business decisions and help analyze customer trends and satisfaction which can lead to new and better products and services today's session has surely surely helped all of us to understand and get insight into basics of the data analysis and data science process quantitative and qualitative data analysis practical implementation of the numpy library which, uh, which was sure a delight to understand the pandas library uh, pandas reading and writing data 
data preparation, data transformation. And be, on behalf of the Department of Information Technology and Mathematics UG and PG section, we are grateful to you sir, for sharing the very basics required for analytics. We are definitely looking forward for many more sessions in future as well. I also extend my gratitude to all teachers for being there with us throughout the session. Thank you. Last but not the least, but all the participants, thank you maintaining the digital decorum of the workshop. Uh, OK, uh, there is an announcement uh, for tomorrow. The lobby session will start at 9 a.m. sharp and the session will start at 9 30 a.m. OK, uh, and I just wanted to add uh... I'll be completing Matplotlib. So basically who really wants to like I, I would really highly recommend everyone to be present tomorrow because you uh, I'll bring I'll, I'm trying to build uh, bring a house data house house prediction data and based on that we'll do only Matplotlib analysis on that only and apart from that we'll work out on some linear regression logistic regression wherein we'll try to solve it end to end. So I will try to show like I'll just give a glimpse to you all linear regression may sub log na linear aspects pe hi run karte, but I will show you the difference between your actual value and predicted values. So that's what we will be working. So you will I actually see ki aapka actual value kya hai aur aapka model predict karke kya value dikha raha hai. That we will work on that level. So see you tomorrow guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for this lovely introduction. I really loved and also thank you for mentioning the kudos that I got this week from organization. Thank you so much. This shows that your management is really intact and very updated on the activities. Thank you so much. OK, so with permission from sir, I would like to end the meeting. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Hey, hey guys, take care. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank sir. You so much, sir. Thank you.